Hello, everybody. <laughs> Yo. Are you ready? Because I am. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited to share my sketchbooks <laughs> with you guys today. <laughs> um, and it's been a long time since <laughs> anyone's seen my, my like, um, sketching, I guess. Because, uh, I mean, I, I don't post art as often as I used to. I should, I should get back in the habit of that, you know? Ah, delicious. Ah, yeah. <laughs> sketchbooks. I have a whole stack of sketchbooks next to me. Plus, like, this whole box of, like, loose sketches. And I have a sort of general idea of, um, you know, like... <gasps> Scraggler! Thank you so much for following! <laughs> Welcome to the Cozy Cave! <laughs> yeah! Heck yeah! Fellow artists, let's go! Like, sketchbook tours are so satisfying, right? Like, I love how it's like a peek in the, in the, how somebody thinks, you know? And I've definitely, I looked through all of my sketchbooks beforehand. Because I wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally have, um, booba. <laughs> I love seeing how, yeah, exactly. And you know, I think it's sort of interesting as an artist to see, like, what kind of, um, sort of motifs uh that sort of like keep popping up like there's this one character in particular i was like wow i didn't know i had like so many different iterations of like this same character and like this same idea <laughs> you know so yeah like sketchbook tours i think are just so <laughs> fun and incredible and we're gonna uh, start it up once it hits 11, so we give people some time to, time to pile in. But <laughs> another thing I noticed about my sketchbooks is uh, I don't, I don't uh, stick to the inside <laughs> of the sketchbook. Usually there's stuff <laughs> all over <laughs> the outside as well. Um, <laughs> and... It makes for a very interesting collection of <laughs> of books, especially since I apparently like write my my thoughts. <gasps> oh, thank you so much! Like six months all together to um, do her art and then ring her up, <laughs> and, and, and the same with the background, because I'm horrible at backgrounds. You probably won't see a single background in any one of these books. <laughs> like, straight up, the backgrounds are so tough for me that I I had so much reference <laughs> that I pulled up to make this one, because who boy. Oh yeah. And, you know, like, some people, their whole thing is that they do backgrounds. And I'm like, I don't understand, but I have so much respect. <laughs> you know? Like, anytime time... Or vehicles, too. <laughs> vehicles are just <laughs> backgrounds that move, and it's like, oh, God. <laughs> so I'm always deeply impressed, you know? Oh, my gosh. Delicious. <laughs> Straight lines, and then like, how how perfectly fluid some of their lines are. It's like, oh man, I gotta break out the French curves. Nobody told me this. <laughs> Nobody told me I had to have these. Why do I even have them? <laughs> and why do I use them? Oh my god. Yeah. Ugh, I'm so excited. Also, you guys will be seeing my real name, that's okay. 
like all of the art I post, I sign with my name, and it's just the name I've been signing on my art all the time. Uh, oh god, perspective. Ugh. <laughs> notice, notice how with my background, hold on, <laughs> let me, I'm gonna shoop into the void for a second. Notice how my background has like almost no <laughs> straight lines or perspective. It's like single point perspective. <laughs> and it's all like natural shapes. Cause I was like, it's so cozy. Oh, thank you. That's the idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I spent a lot of time to try to make it cozy and comfy and inviting, so I'm really glad you like it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, also I discovered, like, I just have so much stuff from, like, all these different times in my life, and, like, each, each, like, period of my life almost has, like, a different recognizable style. It's, it's crazy. Oh, thank you. I, <laughs> I'm so glad to hear that. I would like something I'm trying to work on. Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> something I'm trying to work on is a traditional animation for like, um, my waiting screen and maybe a starting soon screen. Although I sort of like just like hanging out in the 10 or so minutes. <laughs> that I start my stream early for people to come in because it's sort of just nice to sit and shoot the breeze with people, you know? And update people on what's going on. <laughs> but yeah, like, the, the different styles that I've done in the past- Oh, you guys are getting double music. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um... It's just one of those things where, like, on one hand, it's like, I drew like that? On the other hand, you can see it in your art today, how it sort of, like, evolved from that, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, and... I only recently started using both sides of the pages in my sketchbooks, so expect to see a lot of blank spaces in some of these. <laughs> like, um, Steph from Doodle Date. I mean, both Steph and Adam from Doodle Date. Excellent beans. Uh, <laughs> please go support them. They're going through a hard time right now. Doodle Date on YouTube. But, like, um, the. Their sketch- <laughs> Steps especially are like so neat. So tidy and full. <laughs> and that's not what these are. Oh, yes! Hell yeah! <laughs> Doodle day buds! Let's go! <laughs> so scribbly. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, I've, I've tried to get into the habit of not wasting paper. <laughs> on just like scribbles anymore like so if it's like a basic pose that I was like eh I don't like it uh I erase instead of just flipping over to a new page <laughs> oh I guess I should I have two modern sketchbooks that I'm working on right now I guess we should look through those as well huh I'll save those for a little bit later or should we save them for now so people see where I am now you know what? That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Actually sketching sketchbooks again. I know. It's like, once you sort of get used to the digital workflow, yeah, exactly. Especially cause like, I tend to draw heads like the wrong size just in my sketchbooks. So I'm always like adjusting them in uh <laughs> in Clip Studio. <laughs> but you can't do that <laughs> in your sketchbook. <laughs> you have to erase it again. Which is like fine. 
proportions. Ugh, it always gets me. Gets me every time. And you know, Rock, she's got crazy proportions. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh, Mio, you can't go outside right now, sweetie. <laughs> okay, let's see. So Rock's got, like, incredibly long arms. <laughs> and, like, a relatively short. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I. <laughs> she makes me extremely happy. <laughs> She's probably my favorite character I've ever made. So I'm really glad. <laughs> I'm really glad to be um, using her for. Yo, <laughs> I ought to show you guys. Um, <laughs> all of the different iterations of Rock, although I think- I think her first iteration is in one of these sketchbooks, you know? And, uh, in that, she sort of looks like, um, the- the rowdy- <laughs> the rowdy daughter of, like, Belle and Beast <laughs> from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> 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 it's it's uh interesting oh it's time let's go okay so let's flip over to art and then let's get <laughs> i can see that <laughs> yeah it's it's uh you know it's it's one aha <laughs> yo yeah that's a um free stinger from spooky <laughs> he's uh very cool um, artist. I haven't figured out how to do transitions yet, and so I'm forever grateful. <laughs> okay, so these are the two sketchbooks that I currently am sketching in. I like having different sizes of sketchbooks, because sometimes you want to do like a big, a big drawing, and sometimes you just want to do a little baby drawing. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> as you can see, some tests on that side. Um, and then I do this, like, <laughs> cool and learning is fun. You know, learning is fun. Math being cool, I don't know about that one. But, uh, <laughs> I struggle so hard with that. Um, so... I do this like weird looking deer, like this is not, that's not how deer faces look. And then I was like, oh, let's, let's put some like, uh, text, some fun text. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the scribbly things. Oh my gosh. I think everybody has like, <laughs> one of the, I think this is like a skin tone crayon set that I have that's tested right here. Um, and then of course some ballpoint pens. Um, let's see, uh, some kind of snake lady, <laughs> and then Rock in her, uh, hot bug summer outfit, <laughs> which, which I really like quite a bit. It's, uh, it says forest friends on her shirt, <laughs> and it's a bunch of mushrooms. <laughs> oh, thank you, <laughs> Raina. That's so sweet. Oh, yeah. I drew a hot bug version of Barry the Bugbear. <laughs> so he's got his like booty shorts on and like a ripped crop top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta represent fellow bugs and then some sort of like forest spriggan with a bunch of mushies. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> absolutely short shorts though. Oh, <laughs> um, let's see. Um, this was. Just like pose I did. It appears to be some sort of like kung fu lady. <laughs> and then this, uh, this was, I colored this in. These are the skin tone crayons that I had been testing <laughs> on the um, front page. So I, I like how she came out, except I regret that line in the middle of her chest there, because it, it looks like something it's not supposed to. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, um, but I think she's pretty cute, like her fanny pack. <laughs> um, oh, here's a, like, lizardy lady. 
I was about to say, hello, little pink Bowser. Yeah, the the line in retrospect, it it was supposed to show off the musculature of like horse and deer musculature, you know, but it looks more like a voo. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes you put a line you regret. Oh, thank you. Oops, that's the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the skin tone. Yeah, it was definitely the skin tone that did it. Um, here's a little, like, chibi. She's pretty cute. She's not my favorite, but she's pretty cute. Um, this appears to be a cat woman with a pie. Why? Why is it a cat woman with a pie? No idea. <laughs> um, oh, and then this is, like, this camp counselor character I was thinking of making for like a tabletop RPG, you know? Um, and I sort of based her off of uh, my villager in a pocket camp. <laughs> so there's that. Oh, here we go. Uh, this is <laughs> another lizard lady. I think this time though, it's a, um, what are they called from Elder Scrolls? Uh, not Angorian. That's, that's another way to say this is made out of rabbit. Argonian! <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so an Argonian. And then, like, um, I think this is a DAO elf. So, like, a Dragon Age Origins elf I drew. Um, yeah, Argonian. <laughs> uh, I think the, <laughs> I think the blood splatters came out looking more like she got splooshed with mud, but, you know, <laughs> an attempt was made. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, now you guys get to see what happens when I, uh, give up on a piece. I just don't finish it, and I write... Oh. <laughs> the lusty Argonian maid, the little pink Bowser. <laughs> the maid lifts her tail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I can see that. <laughs> um, ooh, this lady's got wings and poofy hair. Gotta love a poofy hair. Um, <laughs> the centaurs are killed by not. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Um, this is a chibi. I was looking through, uh, some, like, uh, old mangas that I really liked, and I came across Pita 10, and I was like, oh, I gotta draw something in the spirit of Pita 10. And then I gave her a weird leg, like, <laughs> like from, uh, 3x3 eyes. Oh, yeah. This was an attempt at a pose. <laughs> and I didn't like it, so I just wrote a little lol next to it. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> there's that. <laughs> and then this is also <laughs> another one where I was like, uh, nah. <laughs> Uh, this doesn't work. <laughs> so, <laughs> my sketchbooks typically have writing in them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was like, it was like some kind of dryad or something. Oh, this was, <laughs> this was sort of a meme drawing I drew for uh, <laughs> one of my VTuber friends. That's, uh, Viscera. <laughs> um... <laughs> and we're recreating that scene in Princess Mononoke <laughs> where Mononoke is about to kill like the main prince guy and he's like, whoa, you're beautiful. <laughs> oh, okay. So this one requires a little bit of explanation. We're about to see a bunch of like sort of cat people. I was basing it off of my pearl who is no longer with us um but you know i wanted to draw her like as a cute little as a cute little cat person but uh it just wasn't it just wasn't working out you know so <laughs> just pages of of it not working out you know let's see oh um this is <laughs> This is a picture of rock that I drew that ended up, uh, we ended up inking it. 
Yeah, Liv just a weird word with dry ass for sure. <laughs> That's funny, I've never thought of it like that. <laughs> um in the in the lined version of this piece, she's crushing a watermelon with her thighs. <laughs> Cause we thought it was funny. Um, if you have arachnophobia, you might not want to look at these next few sketches. I'll tell you when the, the spiders are over. <laughs> um, and we're about to look at the spiders in three, two, one. Okay, so I was trying to mix a spider and a dog together for a character I'm working on for my comic book. Um, and it took a few pages. Oh. Well, these are the main characters, essentially, for the comic book. That's Lucy and Hope and Miki and Evan. <laughs> the puffer. Yeah, basically, um, he ends up getting really cute because I give him a bean-shaped body, you know? But um, I forgot that this page was sort of in the middle of like trying to figure out this this spider dog situation um these designs i'm quite happy with uh these designs i'm still thinking about um but here we go so like here's another version where i i try like a really round body for him um but it didn't feel right and he had way too many legs so um i reduced his number of legs and sort of made him oh thank you set the wild mage that's so nice <laughs> um yeah I, I i think this is the start of the bean body if you can sort of tell um and we're getting close <laughs> yeah <laughs> sometimes i just write my ideas in the margin so uh Oh yeah, and that's tape, because uh, it was starting to fall apart. <laughs> um, and then I think the next page... Yeah, the next page, there's this one, which is almost there. And then this guy. <laughs> so this is the design <laughs> that I settled on. I like his little uh, pointy feet instead of his, like, paws. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, so as you can see, it usually takes me quite some time to get a character, like, to where I want them, you know? <laughs> um, this is a Noel character, so, like, a hyena person, um, that I created for a, uh, tabletop character. So she's, like, a <laughs> big, strong wrestling lady. <laughs> I might like big strong ladies. Who, who knows? Um, this is like a bird thing that I started. I ended up not liking it. <laughs> um, this is also a sketch I started, and as you can see, I was like, this ain't it, chief. <laughs> you know? Um, let's see. This is another, like, chibi. Because I liked the first one so much. Um, and... You know, I think there's part of parts of it that's good, but there are also parts of it that I'm like, eh. <laughs> um, and then this is like an Edwardian vampire lady, because I was watching, <laughs> I was watching so much um, Bernadette Vanner on YouTube. If you know who Bernadette Vanner is, she loves like that the Edwardian period, which is the period after Victorian and before the Jazz Age. So, uh, I was like, I wonder what an Edwardian vampire- Oh, you can do it. An Edwardian vampire lady would look like. So that's that. <laughs> um, this is like a rough sketch that just never panned out because I was like, <sighs> And then this is me doing like a cute, chibi version of Rock, but I ended up not liking it because there's something about her that isn't right. You know, she's not got the spirit. It's like a different character cosplaying as her, you know? So, um, that didn't work out. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
So, um, you'll see this idea several times. Kind of goblin looking. Yeah. I mean, you know, um, bugbears are technically goblinoids in some, like, tabletop RPGs, you know? Which is sort of what I kind of based Rock on, but that was definitely way more goblin than, you know? Um, but this, this idea is for a, like, creature for my comic. Um, they're called, like, <laughs> Hi Astra! <laughs> Goblin approves. Um, they're called, like, Mouse Women, because they're basically mice women. <laughs> and, uh, they have, like, these porcelain masks and shrouds that they wear. And they use, like, traditional Japanese weapons, because I'm a weeb. <laughs> um oh yeah this is sort of like a experiment in retro style it sort of works it sort of doesn't you know and then this was me drawing Evan with the pupper <laughs> um the pupper is supposed to be his the idea is he's um literally an empath so he can read people's like feelings not their thoughts but how they're feeling you know um and so <laughs> the spider dog's basically his emotional support animal <laughs> oh okay and this is actually um another character for my comic she's uh the light keeper um and she looks after the lighthouse at the end of everything and as you can see she, like her bits are sort of floating apart from one another and behind it are like these glowing orbs of light so i really like how she came out i think her design is very i think it's interesting but it's simple enough that like it reads well you know so i really like her i think she came out quite good um, this was, like, trying a dress that I saw online, and I couldn't pull it off. I didn't like it. Oh, okay. And then this was me deciding what kind of, like, basically outfits Lucy would wear. Because Lucy is, like, um, the main person in my comic. And... I just love her in, like, these bohemian maxi dresses. <laughs> oh, gob, I hate my mind. All I heard in my mind is the design is very human. Curse you, TikTok. <laughs> it's okay. It happens. It happens. We all live in a world where, <laughs> where TikTok exists. Um, uh, let's see. This was... What was this? I think I had just watched The Princess Bride for like the first time in probably like 12 years. I was like, oh, I'm gonna try to draw Wesley. And it didn't work. <laughs> um, and then this is like a pose I was trying, but I ended up not liking it. I mean, I think that arm's okay. But like the rest of it just seems way too like stiff you know there's no there's no flow there's no ease to it you know oh okay i like this one uh you guys know that gree grease gree swimsuit that was going on on twitter a while back where it's like a little bit at the groin and then like a little band though and then in between it is all like clear and see-through i was like oh i'll i'll try that outfit on and for some reason, yeah, yeah, that one. I was like, yeah, I'll try, I'll try drawing the character on that. And I didn't post it because, I mean, I like it, but I don't like it. <laughs> these, these are notes f for the Sims 3 town I'm building. I'm building an entirely custom town in Sims 3 called Thistlewood. <laughs> so, uh, you guys will be privy to that once I get my Sims 3 working again. That's some more Sims 3 notes. <laughs> um, and then this was like... 
Some kind of bird lady with a tail, I guess. <laughs> um. Oh, this is Lucy again, but this time, uh, once the sketch was done, I went over it with, uh, some ball points I have. The idea with her, uh, tentacles is that they can extend as long as she needs them. And also, um... She doesn't walk, she sort of floats through the air like it's, um, water. Cause she's, like, modeled after a blue ring octopus, which is one of the most venomous octopuses, uh, in existence. And then this was a bird. He was a fat little idiot. And while I tend to like fat little idiots, I didn't like this one. And this is, uh, Hope again. She's just got, like, some cute things in her hair cause she's adorable. <laughs> yeah, don't touch the blue ring. Don't do it, you'll die. <laughs> Straight up. Um, this was a weird little bear I drew. Why? Couldn't tell ya. <laughs> Sometimes you just draw a weird little bear. Um, this was another attempt. You almost touched one? <laughs> Why? How? <laughs> what? Hold on, I'm gonna set you guys down for a second so I can get a sip of my drink. <laughs> Oh my goodness, gravy. Ah, uh, because Australia. Yep, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, welcome back. So I think this is me trying to work out Miki's design again. I like big floppy ears. They're fun, you know? But, um... I, there was stuff about it I didn't like. Oh yeah! <laughs> And then I was like, I was, that's right, I was watching a lot of Game Grumps, and I was like, I wonder what my fursona would be if I had, like, a fursona. I guess it would be raw, because I don't really, you know, but I was like, I'm going to try to combine myself with an animal and see how that works out. And, uh... Stupid <laughs> was the answer for this one. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then a uh, Pomeranian person and a little a little happy guy. Um this is a floppy ears are good, just tough to draw, yeah. <laughs> the first one looks good though, the bear. Eh. Uh, like, I think she's cute, but she doesn't feel like, like, me, you know? <laughs> um, this is an El Mirage person. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but you know, the rabbit with the single horn, as opposed to the rabbit with two horns, and that's a jackalope. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. And then here is another one, um, where I just drew... Like a Almiron, Al, 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 a, a unicorn bunny <laughs> lady. And then I did like a sort of chibi version of, of her on this page. So, like, you know, I think she's pretty cute. Oh, and this is what I look like. <laughs> I was like, how am I, ex how can you draw? yourself and something else when you haven't drawn yourself in years. So draw yourself. <laughs> I think I came out looking <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> Got my <laughs> braided pigtails in them everything. <laughs> I wear them <laughs> almost every day. <laughs> um, and this is like a little, like a little flower person, I think, you know? Um, <laughs> oh, and this was, this was like an alien I was working on, um, and then I appeared to have begun a drawing there and then wrote yucky all over it. <laughs> so, um, this is a hot elf boy. <laughs> uh, so, you know. Gotta love a crop top for showing off a tumbly. Oh yeah! I do this, uh, without lifting up the pencil and without looking at the drawing. 
And I think I did pretty good. Like, there's, you know, just a huge amount of space between the upper part of the face. But look at that. I'm so pleased with how that part looks, you know? <laughs> and then there's... <laughs> we don't see an hourglass figure on guys normally. I know. And here's the thing. In all different kinds of shapes. You know what I'm saying? More shapes are more people. Oh, <laughs> this is like a cute gnome lady I was drawing. <laughs> I don't remember why. I was like, you know what? I like D&D &D gnomes, but also gnomes... Like, traditional gnomes are kind of fucking adorable with their big idiot dunce caps, you know? So there was that. And then... <laughs> I was trying to draw some dragons, because I used to be super into them in, like, middle school and high school. I think that's, like, the sort of phase I went through. I heard it's like a... It's like a stereotype. The ace people are really into dragons and cake. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Scragglebird. It's like, um... Just because it's true about me doesn't mean it's true about all ace people, okay? <laughs> Gosh darn it, you know? Um, this is me working on another... I thought the meme for aces was garlic bread? Oh, it might be. I also like that, so I'm still in trouble. <laughs> Um, is it? Well, damn, that's- <laughs> Hell yeah! Let's go! <laughs> we should draw for a dragon's cake and garlic bread club. <laughs> um, this was an angle I was working on. The angle did not work out. <laughs> Everyone likes garlic bread, so it doesn't really work. It's true. Garlic bread is fantastic. Um, this is me putting rock in, uh, my braided pigtails, because I thought that might be cute. <laughs> um, this was, like, the start of a robot, but I didn't like it, so I put a dumb face on it. <laughs> um, let's see. And this is all stuff that I've done in, like, this is a modern sketchbook, so this is how I'm working nowadays, you know? So, I really liked... This face and this hair, I think it's nice and floofy. I did not like the sort of outfit thing I was working on. So I tried a couple of different things. I Again, the face, very good. The outfit and tableau, yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying. Um, and then this was like me trying out, come on, focus, a body type for the face, you know? Um, but the legs were way too short. And then this was me trying out uh, the body shape I think I'm going to go with. I, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love overall so much. I think they're so cute. And like, it's got this little side like skirt panel sort of looking thing on top of the shorts. And I think it's really sweet. So... I would like this to be Miki's design, but there's still stuff about it that I'm not sure about, you know? Um, this was apparently an ass shot that I said nah to. <laughs> um, you feel like the shorts could be longer? Yeah, that probably... Yeah, I think probably they could end at, like, the knee, you know? <laughs> True ace energy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would do it. Um, this is me trying, instead of Evan being, like, really big and bulky, being more on the, like, slim side. And, of course, his tummy is showing. Gotta show the tum-tum. Um, and there he is with his pupper, you know? Um, that was just, like, a sketch that didn't pan out. This is, like, a... Like an anglerfish mermaid, I suppose? <laughs> well posed ass shot, no. <laughs> well, you know, they said this, sometimes you look at it and you're like, this isn't it. And sometimes you look at it and you're like, no, that's an ass. <laughs> um, I didn't like this one apparently, although retrospectively, I think it's fine. <laughs> um, this was 
Another pose I was working on is definitely got that, like, gremlin energy, you know? Um, this is uh, another character I was thinking of for my comic. Her name is Ember, I think. Um, and she's sort of like a giant ball-jointed doll, like a life-size one. Um, and then here's, here's Hope again, just sort of sitting. Um. <laughs> Look at this fucking idiot. <laughs> oh my god, I hate her. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, uh, there was that one. And then here's a fat cat. <laughs> oh my god. Um, this is some more stuff I gotta do for the town I'm working on. Um, oh, okay. So, um, I, uh, love doing ceramics. I haven't done it in a bit because quarantine. But I would like to take up another ceramics class and sort of do a full ladies teapot set. Because I made a teapot that, like, um, is, a, is a lady, you know? So I sort of extended that idea to, like, all of these um, vessels, you know? Shapely body types plus birds shouldn't really mix. Yeah. Generic <laughs> perspective, yeah. <laughs> You're very right. Um, I don't remember what this was, but I agree. It's yuck. <laughs> um, let's see. Just, uh, mermaid I didn't finish. And the, and like a dynamic pose that I sort of like, you know. Cause sometimes you gotta get a get a pose out. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta go boom, boom, boom. The third eye design looks like it has potential. I mean, I think I was overcomplicating it. You know? Um, that's just a lady. This is me uh, trying to draw a villager and discovering that I am not good <laughs> at drawing in the Animal Crossing style. Um, see? Like, yikes. Oh, and then here's a Bidoof. <laughs> um, I love Bidoof. They're adorable idiots, like me. <laughs> oh, and here's me trying to draw a rock as a Bidoof. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So chibi. It's like, <laughs> antithesis to like, how I usually draw. So, it's- it's tough. Uh, this appears to be some sort of soulless clown person. You know, he looks like he could- he could use a good day. <laughs> um, that's another attempt at rock doof. And is that- yep, that's the last thing in this sketchbook so far. <laughs> so, drawing- drawing bidoofs. <laughs> so, like I said, this sketchbook is still in progress. Um, and this is the other one that I'm currently working on. It's much larger, as you can see. Um, I put some cute, like, little flower transfers on it. Um, uh, so it's not full up yet. This was, yeah. this was swimsuit rock. I ended up inking this digitally on a stream before. I also moved this arm because wowza yowza is it too close to her body. <laughs> You know, but you gotta love them paws. She's excellent paws. Um, oh yeah, this is me trying to draw um, my D and D character Taj, who's a uh, like elephant person, and he's a swarm keeper. So like this little flower um, holds all of his like fey buddies in it that attack people, and. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but the character is based off Horton Here's a Who. So, 
So, uh, so <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to see uh, how many of my friends will will catch on to the fact that my character is literally just Horton Here's a Who. Um, this is me drawing rock from the side because I realized I had never done that. <laughs> um, and she's got a pretty cute side profile, I think. You know. Um, let's see. Oh, <laughs> this is me, like, drawing Rock, um, as, like, she would have been drawn if she had been done in the 90s. <laughs> so that's the idea behind that. If Rock was made in the 90s, what would she look like? <laughs> um, <laughs> and then this one <laughs> is if she were, like... Really in the cottage core. <laughs> Just with like this heart shaped apron. I think it's so. It looks like some Sailor Moon stuff. Absolutely. It's some real like <laughs> shoujo shit. And I love it. A plus, you know? Um, this is me testing out again some ideas for Miki. She's a hard character to nail down, you know? Um, so. And then this is just a drawing of Lucy, because, uh, as, as the old saying goes, I love Lucy. <laughs> um, so, you know. Let's see. That might be the end of it. Yeah, that's the end of it for this one. I only very recently started this one. So, um... The cottage core looks like you missed the candy house, and this is just a friendly furry witch. <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh yeah, my desk is too small uh, to put things on it to show you guys, so I've literally got like a food tray <laughs> that I've set on my lap. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so this sketchbook is older. It's not... Right? We got it for like a yard sale. Somebody was just basically giving it away. We were like, we'll, we'll take the cute geese. <laughs> um, okay. So this sketchbook probably is during my time at college. So... After high school, I spent two years at an art school and then like took a year off and then spent four years at a college, right? So this was probably done during my college days. And uh, I kept this insert. <laughs> and that's because <laughs> I drew on the back of it. <laughs> so, um, so early to mid twenties. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so, um, early to mid twenties. That's correct. So, uh, you know, and then my name on it. <laughs> like I said, I do all over these. Um, this is a note for myself about a project I had to do. And then <laughs> I was like, what, what are you doing? Why is she twisted like that? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Let's see. Yep. This was like. A ninja lady, I guess. Because, <laughs> again, weed. Um. Oh, this was like a sort of cute couple shot, but I didn't like their bodies. So I literally just cropped it to look like this. <laughs> Which, you know, is kind of sweet. But you can definitely see, like, if you look at, like, the noses and, uh, like, sort of how things are drawn there's a lot of similarities to now but it's not like as refined i guess um so that's that's interesting to see this is i i loved doing profiles <laughs> at this point i think so i was doing a lot of them so this was like um an elven woman who obviously had some kind of incident happen. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I was drawing, like, 
this serious thing, but then I realized this hand is way too small to be his. So, like, uh, I made it somebody else's arm, and they're saying band-aid attack, and he's saying ow. It doesn't make sense to me either, but it's very me. <laughs> you know? Oh, skip the page. It, oh, yeah. This was like a... Just like an underwater thing I was doing. Uh... But her, her head got like... <laughs> stretched out this way, you know? That tended to happen during this time. Another weird little profile. Oh yeah, just sort of like a really... <laughs> round friend, I guess? <laughs> um... And another profile, but this time he's got a beanie and like his head goes all the way up here. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Round friend has Steven Universe vibe? Yeah, kind of. I think so. I I think this was around the time I, I had watched it, you know, so that would make sense. This appears to be... I think, if I recall correctly, this was supposed to be like some sort of android character. That I was working on. Um, the one where like the the head really got away from me. <laughs> and it just stretched. <laughs> um, I didn't like this one. This was the round friend, but uh, I didn't like it. And I agree now. Um, this was like. A fat cat I saw. So I drew it. <laughs> um, come on. This, <laughs> this book is so dry. Oh, and then of course, you know, another profile. <laughs> um, oh, here's a kitty cat. <laughs> and an ink, I guess. Uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> More commentary. Um, I did mess up on her boob. Gee, look at that. Wowza yowza. <laughs> but, you know, it's not bad, considering. Yeah, that's a friend kitty for sure. Oh, yeah. This is, like, another sort of couple thing I was doing. Boy, she's short compared to him. Wowza yowza. Also, like, look at how different like the bodies are that's so weird you know <laughs> small pointy boob <laughs> yeah exactly um this appears to be a shy girl saying chicken nugget because <laughs> i'm an artist and i can do whatever i want <laughs> oh yeah okay so i was playing a uh, dragon age inquisition that's basically what this page is. Uh, I was playing Dragon Age Inquisition, and I thought it would be fun to write out like all of the that one song <laughs> in like sort of a shape, and then just a bunch of stuff. <laughs> um, some more ink stuff. So uh, here's a fun fact. For those of you who are new here, I'm disabled, my legs do not work properly, and they hurt basically all the time. So if you see just like a lone leg or a pair of legs <laughs> on a page, that's because my legs were hurting so bad I couldn't really focus on anything else. So the <laughs> anytime you see like a leg, this is randomly on a page. It's probably a vent piece. <laughs> no? Um, and this was obviously, I got hold of some sort of brush pen. Uh, this is, this is me trying to, this is a thing, but I shouldn't, I think it shouldn't be a thing. Um, I was trying to sketch with Copics because I had seen someone like do that. And I was so impressed. And I, th I think some of this is good, but I realized 
that like because I had sketched out the skin tone even to like its darkest parts um I couldn't put clothes on her and I was like oh fuck <laughs> you know <laughs> like you can't layer color on top of that it will look right um this appears to be me warming up with like the pen again you know um oh here's a nice bloody piece <laughs> <laughs> uh, yo, look at her tiny T-Rex arms. Cause you know this whole this whole one appears to be done with some of those brush pens. So like, there's no there's no sketch underneath. So <laughs> she's just got these like really tiny T-Rex arms. There's something very like um classically. Japanese about this area you know if you've ever seen like ancient Japanese paintings because that's how they were done as well that there was like no sketching you just took the brush and you like sketched like did the whole thing in one shot so there's something very <laughs> interesting about this area and her hands are so small <laughs> um let's see and if you're wondering why I'm sketching a horned lady a lot, it's because uh, this was my inquisitor. <laughs> I had a, cu a female Kunari inquisitor <laughs> in Dragon Age Origins. Um, this is me sketching with some uh, alcohol markers again. I believe this was a sketch of the Silver Shroud from Fallout 4. Because I think this is around the time I played that as well. This was another pen sketch. I actually really enjoy doing sketches where you just start, you know, and <laughs> like you're not doing it in pencil, you're doing it in the finished medium, you know. Uh, and here's a fun fact, I always start at the nose, because the nose is the center point of the face, so if you get the nose right, everything else just falls into place, you know. Another Copic sort of sketch page um, that happened. Let's see. Oh, this one. Ah, look at that texture. That's fabulous. That's the best part of this one. The running out of ink on your brush texture, the dry brush. So that must have been a uh, my pen was dying, and I was like, well, I can get one more thing out of it. <laughs> and then, of course, another profile, because this is the era for it. This is what I mean by, like, you really get to see an artist's, like, thought process. Like, during this time period, I did so many profiles, you know? So now, like, I don't do them as often, but I, I know I have them down, you know? Um... This was, uh, this is my character, um, in Black Desert, she's my tamer, and yes, I did splurge on the extra fancy dress, because sometimes I have a problem with microtransactions. Um, this is, uh, uh how do I explain this? <laughs> tamers are my favorite. Like, tamers are really fun, but I'm just in love with the what are they called they're the little like mouse ladies with the ears oh my god <laughs> in mmos i'm absolutely shocked right um how do i explain this one so lucy used to be part of a different comic idea i had but i'm sort of mushing all of the comic ideas i had together into essentially one mega comic and this is one of the characters from the other comic that will be brought back, but not fully as he is now, you know? And he was trying to replace cigarettes with lollipops. Because I, I, I always thought that was funny that that's what they did in um, Four Kids, or Sanji. Um, and this is Lucy. So Lucy, uh, fun fact, um, started out as a child character in her comic, but she's grown up now in this one, though there will be like flashbacks 
to this sort of era when important stuff was happening in like her her life. Um, this is another. This is two profiles. <laughs> Didn't even bother drawing hair for these ones. Pretty good though. Nice and clean. Um, let's see. Come on, flip over for me, baby. Oh yeah. Okay, this really dates this one. This must have been when Seriously Stupid Sleepover um, on Smosh was still a thing. Because that's what this is. This is fan art <laughs> for Seriously Stupid Sleepover. <laughs> so, uh, that's funny. Like, I'm still watching Smosh. I'm 30 and I'm watching Smosh. Like, <laughs> oh. Okay, so the this is um, another character idea for one of the comics. She might be in this one, because I, I ended up liking her design quite a lot. But a lot of the characters in one comic were based on venomous animals, so animals that um, you don't have to ingest them in order for them to kill you with poison. <laughs> um, so, like, I just... I discovered there's a bird that's venomous. It's the hooded pitohui. <laughs> and like, it secretes a poison that coats its feathers. So if you touch it, you're in deep shit. <laughs> so, um, this is me trying to turn it into a person and I hated this one, right? Like this is an abomination, but this like silhouette, I think is really strong. And she, that's sort of the silhouette that stuck with the character. You might see her later. Oh, this is like a character I did that like always has her eyes covered up by her hat. <laughs> um, and then of course she's just got like a blackjack hat on because we, um, yeah, same character. Uh, Another profile. <laughs> wow, his eye is really close to the top of his head. Look at that. Small brain, smooth, smooth, smooth. This is me trying to do a character based off of a brown recluse, but I didn't like how it was starting out. This is literally just a face on a page. <laughs> Definitely a three head for sure. Um, there's schmutz on this page. I don't know what that is. I will say, though, sometimes I do, like, eat on top of my sketchbooks. Because I have no respect. <laughs> so, he, here's another real three head. That sort of same silhouette. A skeleton. And, like, some sort of weird Picasso man. Hello, skeleton. How are you? Oh, this is Yabuki Joe. <laughs> From Ashita no Joe, <laughs> the vintage boxing manga and anime, because I, I love it. <laughs> um, I, this is gel pen. Can you see that it's shiny? It's shiny. There we go. Shiny. Um, oh, yo, look at them arms. That ain't bad. Um, this is character in a William Slater book. So William Slater is an author for uh, middle grade and young adults, but um, my favorite stuff is middle grade. Because <laughs> I'm immature. <laughs> so um, this is uh, one of the main characters from his like horror book Fingers, where like these two brothers are basically being possessed by this uh, piano composer. Um, this was an attempt on like one character for a webcomic, but I realized if I had to draw this beard every time, I would die. It's too. It's too. <laughs> Um, this appears to just be like a face. This is the main character in 
poison study. Because when I was in middle school, I was part of, like, this writing group with my mom. I was, like, 12. <laughs> and the only kid in the entire group. Because, <laughs> you know, it wasn't, like, made for kids. But, um... I got to know, like, a lot of the authors there. And when, uh... Maria Snyder got her books published, she would always sign one and give one to me. So, I really liked it, even though I probably shouldn't have been reading it at that age. Because <laughs> it was like a romance novel. Well, it was more of an adventure novel, but it had romance in it. But it was for, like, adults, <laughs> you know? Um... <clears throat> Oh, I might have to take a drink. I'm going to set you guys down again. Me refreshing beverage. Yo, delicious. Nutritious. Tastes just like chicken. Okay. Let's focus back in camera. Thank you. Um, this is another ink piece. I love drawing braids. I think braids are actually way easier than people think. Because basically, hold on, where's my pencil? Oh, here's a pen. Eh. All you have to do to, like, draw a braid, right? If you can draw a heart, you can draw a braid. So, just draw a heart. <laughs> Right? And then you put another heart below it. Right? And then you just vivisect the heart. And you've got the beginnings of a braid. And then you just add details. And like flyaways. And that's, that's a braid. You know? So I think braids are like one of those things where I'm sorry I'm putting the cap back on. One of those things where it's like easier than people suspect, you know? Because it looks like it's a really intimidating shape, but... And all you have to do to draw the other side of the braid is draw the hearts upside down, you know? So, I, I quite enjoy drawing braids. Um, another profile. <laughs> uh, this one appears to have... An underlayment done in, like, red pen with, like, ink on top. It's got a very nice texture to it. Um, oh yeah. And my signature again. Yo, I literally, like, have a billion pages where I was trying to figure out how to write my signature before I settled on this. <laughs> you know? Um, and then... This, this guy... This thing? <laughs> um. Hmm. Hi, Prax! <laughs> well, my sketchbooks. This one's a, a, an older one. I was like it mid 20s. <laughs> um. So, like, here's. Uh, I believe these were like the parents of. One of my D&D characters. And they were such a cute couple. I just like had to draw them. <laughs> also, I really like the texture here on the hair. You know, the ink brush does so many like interesting things. And I love... <laughs> I love the texture of this. It looks so... I just want to touch it. I just want to touch it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Another profile. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta experience mixed medium, you know? Yo, speaking of hair texture. Yo. Do that. I guess it's just a bunch of like short, like little marks to make it look like those like really tiny braids, you know? Like how um Brandy has in Cinderella. You know? The Cinderella with, like, Whitney Houston? Oh my god. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I had, I had just watched Star Wars, so I was trying to sketch Luke Skywalker. 
<laughs> um, this appears to be some sort of pose with a little bat friend. Yo, how's it going, little bat friend? You're a cutie pie. Okay. Um, another like random pose that didn't work out. Oh, some sort of weird the proportioned person like her head is ginormous <laughs> the bat is great I, I i think twice i've drawn something i've been calling a bat buffalo which is like a bat buffalo and i'm pretty sure it's in one of these sketchbooks yeah like a number a child I, I don't understand she has to, like some scrappy do hair she's also in like pink gel pens, so she's like shiny. Eh, eh, come on. Oh! And then this appears to be some sort of fellow done in blue, blue ink. And that appears to be the end of this year's sketchbook. Anything on the back? No. So, um, hmm. so as you can see, we have just like a shit ton of stuff. <laughs> um, and I'm trying to think about which sketchbook you guys might most like to see. You know what? We'll do this one. So this one is... Ugh! This one is a bound page. As you can see, uh... Uh, it's got tape on the side. <laughs> I've written all over it. I did this, I made a thing on the back. There's this like picture of Tara from <laughs> Dragon Warrior Monsters 2, Tara's Adventure. And she's done in Joe Pen, so she's shiny. It's got like just pencil scuzz <laughs> on the back. <laughs> and like this guy on the front who's like ink has obviously been like smeared and stuff you know so this is this was a very this was a very active <laughs> sketchbook this sketchbook has seen a lot of wear and tear so this one would be after college and after college is sort of the era i'm in now like, because uh, I'm disabled, so finding work is difficult. <laughs> so that's that's really the best the best descriptor I have for this time in my life. Uh, I appear to have taped in a sketch from a different thing, where it's like a retro girl and the pupper, because I love like this this really like. 90s early 2000s sort of style you know i just it's peak it's excellent you know um so i've taped that in and then this appears to be a blank page oh double page spread baby let's go so this looks like colored pencil um and if we zoom in there's actually like a lot of patterning over here and then there's like a very soft um sketch of a person come on zoom come on come on focus there we go yo i really like how those eyes came out that's that's pretty neat i have no idea how i did that <laughs> um and, and then of course there are these splotches from the other side of the page <laughs> but yeah i think this one came out pretty cool I don't tend to work a lot in like colored pencil, so yo <laughs> page of aliens, baby, let's go. Gotta love aliens. And then these two appear to be a duo, and she's got a long ass sword <laughs> and antlers, so that's interesting. <laughs> um. Yo, Usopp from One Piece, baby! Usopp is objectively the best character in One Piece. Cannot be argued. 
I was trying to, you know how the artist always draws them doing things with like animals? I was like, well, I'll put in a little rabbit that's got like the, the X on it. You know what I'm talking about, the X. <laughs> and then Usopp, like he's just my favorite character. He's so <laughs> relatable. He's like bad at stuff, but he tries. That's my favorite trope in anime. The guy who's bad at things, but tries anyway. This, I think, was a ball jointed doll unicorn centaur. So, a lot of descriptors there. Yeah, Usopp is the best. <laughs> when I was a kid, like, Frankie was my favorite. I was like, yes, Frankie. Oh, sorry, I'm adjusting. Ugh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> right? Um, I was like, yeah, Frankie's the best. He's so weird and funny and cool. But as an adult, I'm like, no, Usopp is just so fucking relatable. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So these are the main characters from one of my favorite, like, mangas of all time. It's called, um, Free X Three Eyes. It's about, uh, this girl who's like, who has three eyes and she's immortal. And she runs into this guy who ends up dying, but she saves his life. And, um, technically, he now shares her soul. So he can't die so long as she lives, so he's like her protector, you know? And stuff happens. Still love Frankie. Yeah, he's he's a good boy, but he's not as good of a boy as Usopp. <laughs> oh, um, this is the main character from P to Ten. Uh, she, uh, what's her name? Uh, Mika, Mifa, me, 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 me. Um, but you know, she's got like these cute, like plush, almost Terra Terra Bozu looking like bunnies on the side of her head and like angel wings and stuff it's like i love it oh, oh. <laughs> okay so this this page is a page of just properties i like and me trying to copy their style so like this is um katakuri circus by one of my favorite authors he did um ushio tutora and uh that one with spring heel jack as well like i love his shit to the max um <laughs> that's what's his face kiki kiki he draws the bouncy pigeons gotta love that guy um this is metropolis the anime movie uh this is holy land this unfortunately i am no longer in the harry potter stuff anymore because uh, Rowling to turf, but I really liked this webcomic about like all of the different houses and stuff, and I was still into it. This is Adachi. He's a fantastic artist. These two are from Okage Shadow King, because Okage Shadow King is like one of the weirdest and coolest games ever made for the PS2. <laughs> I hope to play it on on stream one day. This is Akira Toriyama, um, Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. This is Detective Conan, Yatsuba, um, <laughs> Angel Densetsu. Yo, Angel Densetsu is <laughs> one of my favorite mangas because it's about this kid, <laughs> right? It's about this kid who looks like as fuck but who's like just really sweet and kind but he accidentally becomes the band show at his school just because of how freaky looking he is <laughs> um this is shaman king this is like my favorite character from shaman king he's such like a big idiot and i love big idiots and here's ranma <laughs> um that's an omu from nozuka this is um ghost sweeper mikami uh, Ghost Sweeper Mikami is another one of my favorites, but it, like, the art style is so 90s, I can't convince anyone to read it. <laughs> it's like, 
is so like pointy, I guess. <laughs> um. Oh, this is Congo Bancho. This is his love in ban uh, This is Congo's love interest from Congo Bancho, which was. Uh, an earlier work of the guy who did uh, Seven Deadly Sins. I don't really like Seven Deadly Sins, it's not my thing, but Congo Bancho is like literally perfect. <laughs> like, it even has one of those things where um, if, you, if you were like a kid who sent in fan art of like a Bancho you wanted, cause like it, the idea was all of these different like delinquent heads of the schools would like fight. You know, like if you sent in a cool Bancho idea, he would draw it. Like literally one of the Banchos is just a T-Rex in an old school like school outfit because a kid was like, I think it would be cool if one of the Banchos was a T-Rex. <laughs> oh, this is Pumpkin from uh, Batman Piter Man because <laughs> uh, Small Boo are literally perfect. Um, this is Ran from Ran in the Gray World. Uh, I read it when I was in high school and I loved it. And then my brother read it recently and he was like, Daisy, like literally, like she's a 10 year old girl and she has an adult form that she can transform into. And this 30 year old guy won't stop hitting on her. And I'm like, oh yeah, that is problematic. So, while the art is beautiful, I'm not sure I can recommend the, the manga anymore. <laughs> um, this is a manga called The Town the Stars Fall Upon. Um, really moody, really cute, and I, I just love this, like, art. I just want to touch it all the time. This is Tsukasa Hojo, um, one of my favorite artists. He did City Hunter and Angel Heart. Angel Heart is my particular favorite um, of his. No, Family Compo is my particular favorite of his. Family Compo is like such a queer positive manga that you would not expect, particularly coming from the City Hunter guy, because that one is like so horny. <laughs> like in like the traditionally masculine way but like family compo is literally that this guy ends up like his he's about to enter college and his dad just recently died and so his aunt from his mother's side is like you can come live with us while you're going through college and he basically discovers that both his aunt and his uncle are trans and the reason he he hadn't seen them since he was like a kid was because um his mother cut ties with his aunt because she's like you're not a woman blah 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 you know like toxic stuff and like um their kid Xion, is uh gender fluid so they like you know, will switch genders, depend, not switch, but they'll like, you know, be different genders on different days. And sometimes she's a girl and sometimes he's a boy. <laughs> and, um, like this, this nephew character is like starting to come with, like to terms with the fact that, hey, maybe I'm not entirely masculine. You know? So it's like, it's like very interesting. Although he does have this obsession with discovering what Xion's like sex is, because it's also a little, he's in love with his cousin and it's a problem. <laughs> but for the most part, it's, it's so, like there are jokes made, but the jokes, are never meant to be cruel and it's it's kind it's extremely kind to these characters who have almost no representation during the time especially because this was written years ago 
you know? So family compo is my favorite one. Sorry I went on a tangent. I just had to talk about one of my favorite mangas. <laughs> and then of course you have where it's just a bunch of oiled up wrestler dudes fighting aliens from outer space and shit. <laughs> um, and then I really like this artist and her style, but I can't remember what her name is or the name of any of her mangas, but they're like from the 70s and they're great. <laughs> so yeah, this whole page I was like, I wonder if I can like draw, draw in the style of all the things I like, you know? Um, so I thought it was fun. And then this was like, um, attempting some like more specific studies of things I liked and seeing if like I could incorporate it um properly I think maybe I I end up incorporating it into stuff here's another buff lizard lady I don't know why I keep drawing them I, I, I'm discovering I have like a tram <laughs> um ooh bunny girls so lots of different types of of like bunny girls that I'm trying. This one is like the worst. That's like a bunny girl, and that's like a bunny girl, and that's like a bunny girl. <laughs> bunny girl. Yo, okay. This one, I'm actually really, I think I was looking at the art for um, Pathfinder 2, cause Paizo hired this like incredible artist to do all of the art for Pathfinder 2. And the stuff in it is just so, like, detailed and, like, fun that I was like, I gotta give that a try, right? Where you just go out the wazoo, like, trying to, trying to go as detailed as possible, you know? So I think, I think that's what that is. Oh, <laughs> a skeleton. A very gestural skeleton with a witch hat on a broom. <laughs> oh, skeleton. Look at them teeth. <laughs> that that would require braces. Um, and then we've got two people sort of like hanging out. Just chilling. Uh oh yeah, these were characters I was thinking of for a comic idea. Where, like, it was a, um, you know, like, uh, these two solve crimes. So she's, like, an ex-detective who was injured on the job and so she had to retire. He's just, like, some kid that, like, I think he's, I think he doesn't have, like, a home. I think he just sort of, like, goes couch surfing place to place. And, like, they end up teaming up to solve crimes. Um, this was just, like, a cute girl walking her dog. Or this, this is me trying to draw, like, a dwarven guy. But, uh, I'm not super into drawing beards, so I just gave him, like, stubble. And, you know, like, just a lot of hair. Just a tremendous amount of hair. <laughs> Yo, look at them pants. That's not leaving much to the imagination, is it? <laughs> um, and then here's his like side profile. And here's an elf lady. Here's some more stuff trying to figure out his ship. Oh, and here they are together. Yo, cutie pies. Um, let's see. <laughs> Does her mug say mug on it? Her mug says mug on it. <laughs> That's so stupid. Um, you know, this is just a more sort of sketchy page. I think this is a profile of that same elf. Some sort of cat lady with like whiskers. <laughs> um, this is that detective woman again and the guy. And this is her, like, scolding him. But he's like, Oh, I've never been scolded before by a par parental figure. It's kind of nice. <laughs> um, and this is some more of them. That's 
It's like her after the injury and he's sort of impish, you know, and relaxed. And then this is some random like elf lady. This is like, this appears to be some sort of like sparkly glamour shot. Um, this is like a up angle. No, not an up angle. I was trying to do one of those like downward angles, you know, but they're sort of hard to draw. Here's another rabbit woman. She's like in a swimsuit though. Yo, she got huge booba. Look at them. <laughs> um, and her little spindly feet. Yo, I love little spindly feet. You know? Like, look at them. <laughs> oh my gosh. I read way too much, like, of the Redwall series growing up as a kid, so I'm always drawing, like, rodents. <laughs> oh, some more bunny girls. <laughs> her, her ears think she's just hugging it. Yo, imagine! And another bikini bunny lady! What, what the fuck? And then, like, a big face. Um, a profile I didn't like, so she's saying but. Oh, here's a drawing. She's gonna cut a bitch. Look out! Ah! Oh, okay, so this was more fan art for Okage Shadow King. This is... Roslyn, and um, the reason she has a parasol is it keeps her shadow normal color because typically uh, her shadow is pink and she hates it. <laughs> She's very cool. And then this was just sort of like a like a two people out about on the town. You know? Let's see. Yo, Goliath! He's turning to stone! Yo, Gargoyles went hard, but it didn't need to, but it absolutely did anyway. Anyway, this appears to be a two-page spread of Goliath. Love that freaking idiot. Yo, look at them biceps. Was I looking at reference? I might have been looking at reference, because that was his pretty good arms, you know? He's turning to stone! Must be daylight. <laughs> you, buddy! <laughs> Where the fuck are you? <laughs> Yo. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a Fallout 4 OC I made. Uh, she's got... <laughs> She's got one leg, because again, uh, I have problems with my legs, so I relate to handicapped characters. <laughs> and um, I, also, as you can see, I didn't want to draw the gun. <laughs> um, but yeah, so she's just like a sort of wastelander. Here's a, here's a bunny with a harness. I think a giant bunny as a steed would be extremely funny and cute for something, so I've been throwing that idea around. Here are some more lizard ladies, but these are more like... <laughs> human, I suppose? Um... It appears to be... like a mama and her baby. And her baby is like, oh, and the mama is like, oh, kids. <laughs> also, like this sort of like chopped hair texture, is definitely my favorite to draw. But I have no idea how it would look in real life, you know, where your hair is just randomly chopped all over the place. <laughs> um, this appears to be a mermaid hit by a harpoon. <laughs> so, so there's that. Um, and then, like, this winged kid with just the largest horns I've ever seen. No wonder he's he's sulky. Look at them things. Um Elf Lady. When I look on over the shoulder. Another lady over there. Oh yeah, this was I was trying to draw the cover of a book, but I don't remember what the book was anymore. Um So 
This... Oh. <laughs> a pair of disembodied legs must have been event day. <laughs> um, that's my character from PSO2, the online game. And here she is again. Uh, I forgot to take a notebook into like a training session for a tutoring thing I had at college. So I just used my sketchbook. And then this is watercolor markers. So you use them as markers and then you can apply water to basically like spread out the pigment, you know? So I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll try that with, with this like mech like sort of character I have, you know? Um, he's like a sort of a moody piece, slightly ruined by the bleed through of the previous page. It's easier to remember to bring a sketchbook than a notebook. Absolutely, queen. Absolutely. I always remember a sketchbook. I never remember a notebook. Um. This appears to be a woman with arms on her hips. I love the idea of attaching extra arms on the hips rather than up here, because in order for these arms to work, they would need a trapezius and pecs and like all of these muscles, you know? But you could theoretically, I think, layer those muscles on top of the ass muscles. <laughs> and have them work <laughs> better than trying to fit them into the tummy, you know? I always have my sketchbook that anything else that's important simply forgotten. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh, this is a um, Magic the Gathering fairy, because I love the way Magic the Gathering fairies look, particularly how Rebecca Gwai, um draw some. She's the artist who did uh, Spell Stutter Sprite and Bitter Blossom. Um, and the art on those is just fantastic. And this is a whale tail um, spout for making a teapot. So you cut, you cut a slab of clay out like this and then you meet these two edges and it forms a tube that points, like, upward, so then you attach it to your pot and you have a spout. So that's what that is. <laughs> um, this is a Star Trek OC, because I love Star Trek. Um, as you can see, she's got her little uniform on. She's only an ensign. Uh, I love her little pointy-ass head. Oh, well, thank you. She's also, her uniform is like sort of a bikini on the bottom because I was trying to figure out how I would fit pants on these, her like tails. Heck yeah, Star Trek, heck yeah. Mama and I recently started watching um, Star Trek Strange New Worlds the other day. And you know, the first episode is okay, but I think it's gonna be fun. You know, I like the guy who plays Spock and obviously the people who made about it, like, care about Star Trek, you know? But, but I can't watch... Yeah! Heck yeah! <laughs> I'm, I'm showing my brother who's never seen, like, uh, Star Trek. I'm showing him, uh, The Next Generation. And I started with, um, by showing him the Offspring episode where Data creates a child. <laughs> Cause that's my favorite episode, and I was like, season one can drag some. Let's let's get him hooked. <laughs> you know? Oh, and he's she's got a little friend. <laughs> yeah, Data's kit, Deep Space Nine. I've seen a lot of next gen. You know, I actually really like Voyager. I think Voyager is also like really fun. You know? Cause it's first, Janeway is like complex. Sometimes I like her, sometimes I hate her, but she always seems like consistent in her characterization, you know? <laughs> but, um, like, the Doctor and Seven of Nine. It takes a while for Seven of Nine to show up, but when she does, oh my god. Like, oh my god. 
Oh yeah, this appears to be uh two ladies in two different <laughs> I, I got distracted talking about Star Trek. <laughs> it's a sketch. You, you guys understand. Here's more Star Trek. <laughs> so this is, uh, I believe this woman is Vulcan. That would make sense from the ears and the hair. Um, and then just some sort of alien. And a, a, what appears to be a very buff man with a very tall cat in the hat-esque hat. And I, I can't explain to you why. <laughs> Vulcan equals face elf change my mind. Here's the thing. You're not wrong. <laughs> oh, and here's a lady with a cat and a snake with worrying teeth. <laughs> Yo! Okay, it's the Archie gang. So I grew up reading Archie. And one of my favorite, um shows growing up was Archie's Weird Mysteries, where they're basically salt, like, think Scooby-Doo, but if the monsters were real, that's Archie's Weird Mysteries. <laughs> it's always fun going through your sketchbook and not remembering sketch context. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Context <laughs> sometimes escapes me. So, this is Betty. She's like your girl next door. This is Veronica. She's like the spoiled rich one, right? Is this after Riverdale came out? No, I think this was... This was before Riverdale. Because, like I said, I just love the Archie characters. Although, after Riverdale came out, I was able to pick up a very cute Jughead-themed knit cap <laughs> at a convention. <laughs> um, and there's Juggy, And that's Archie. He's, like, got a little bomber jacket. He's sort of, like, preppy. So I tried to give him, like... Something stylish, and then Jughead's just got like <laughs> a burgers, <laughs> got a bag of burgers, and he's a little grungier, but he has cool sneaks. <laughs> Actually, uh, oh, show you get this. Now, I want. I could stand up and find it, but I'd have to find it. I'm in an issue of Archie, so. <laughs> Next. Um, the art school I went to was a comic book school. And the people who taught there um, were all professionals in the comic book industry. <laughs> and one of my favorite Archie artists, like, was one of my teachers, which blew my mind basically like the whole time I was there, right? So while I was going to school, life with Archie was coming out, right? And life with Archie is a series of comic books that explore um, what life would be like in Riverdale if Archie had married Betty or if Archie had married Veronica. So each issues, there were two stories, one that took place in the universe where Archie marries Betty and one that takes place in the universe where Archie marries Veronica. And in issue 22, in the Life with Veronica book, there is a panel where uh, two people are like standing outside of a storefront, like looking at comics. And those two people are me and one of my classmates because he, my teacher was drawing the issue while we were all working on a project in class. So, so, like, it's it's this image. Yes, I have like three copies. I'll, I'll find them and show them to you guys next time. <laughs> well, I might have a I might have a picture of the panel on my computer. Hold on, <laughs> I'll check. Okay, but um, so it's me, like wearing. I still have this hat too, um, like this puppy dog hat. It's like a knit hat with like actual puppy dog ears and stuff because I'm a big <laughs> nerd. Um, let's see. Where, where did it go? 
Where did I save it? <laughs> it's gotta be in here somewhere. <laughs> oh my god. If it's not in here, I will cry. <laughs> mm. Ah, I can't find it. Ah. You know what? In about half an hour, we're gonna be taking a break anyway, so I can like pee and feed the cats. <laughs> So while I'm up, I'll I'll grab the issue and bring it over so you guys can see. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm in an Archie. It was like the crowning achievement <laughs> of my <laughs> college career. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yo, let's go. So this must have been a day when I was feeling bad because there's a leg, but at least this leg is like a cool ball jointed doll sort of leg and an elf yo a little mouseum let's go love little mouseums um and a bird a fat little bird <laughs> let's go oh and a page ripped out <laughs> i must have needed it for something <laughs> oh okay so I have two nieces, but w shortly after my first niece was born, we went to visit my brother and like see them. And I offered to do a mural for their nursery. And again, I'm disabled. So it was incredibly difficult because standing on a ladder is not easy to do when your legs aren't very good and you're in pain all the time, right? But, um, my brother and his wife love, like, weird animals, like, they've kept tarantulas and the like, you know? So, um, they wanted, like, an oceanic theme. Um, and this is what I ended up going with for her room. Uh, these were all of the things I was thinking of doing. So this is the hammerhead shark, the whale shark, the humpback whale. Uh, the fiddler crab, the seahorse, the octopus, and the turtle. So I don't, I might have to dig up a picture of this as well. But yeah, like my mom helped me because she was like, well, I can fill in flat colors and like outline things, right? Um, so she was a huge help because I would not have been able to do this without her. Like literally it was it was very painful and we did it in like two or three days <laughs> no it's cute so it's worth it yo also if you're like painting on a budget and you can't afford that much paint you get like red yellow blue right but you get burnt umber and white as well and those five colors are the only five colors you need because if you need black you can make black using burnt umber and blue but black is so bad for like making things darker because it like deadens the color a bit so if you use burnt umber instead to make things darker it makes things feel more alive you know so that's a quick tip from daisy <laughs> Oh, it's an old goblin lady. Look at her. Look at her little snaggle teeth. Oh my god, I love this idiot. Yo, and she's like in what looks to be like a bastardized hanbok, which I love hanboks from like Korea. They're those dresses that like the little jacket ends right under the bust and then it like poofs out at the bottom. I'm obsessed with them. <laughs> um, and this appears to be a page where I just got real sketchy there also appears to be some sort of food state <laughs> um she's got a weird boo and then that's sort of weird how their faces morph together but you know sketchbook um just some floating hair in the void um some soft girl sketches oh this was a character I had who was uh, blind and she was like a um, healer and a la <laughs> Quest for Camelot, 
she <laughs> she saw basically by commanding her bird and her bird would tell her like where stuff was <laughs> um oh this is just i felt like sketching a cute outfit so it's like you know some boots some like corduroy leggings i guess and then like some long like boyfriend shirt dress with a slit up the side in two colors and like the color cross is there and then really short kid gloves and just like a big chunky purse I, I was like that that's kind of a cute look you know um we watch a lot of fashion shows <laughs> like we love creative competition shows so if it's like anything creative and you have a bunch of creatives there and they're competing for whatever mom and i are so in like fashion shows art shows like the great pottery throwdown like blown away all of them <laughs> you know oh this was a skirt i made for my sister it was a handkerchief skirt that said blackpink along the hem because they're one of her favorite bands though her real favorite is twice but the skirt was black and the text was pink, so. <laughs> um, this was an idea I had for a painting. It's Ranma, and then one half is his real self and the other half is his feminine self. It didn't turn out good, the painting. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Um, this was... These were very early sketches of um, characters for... My webcomic. Well, it's not really a webcomic, is it? I don't know. My comic. Um, so Fran used to be the main character, but now it's Lucy. I don't know if I'm gonna keep Burke in. I'll think about it. Evan is still here, but he's much different. And this was another design I had for Miki. Um, I even sort of illustrated how, like, her run cycle would work. Instead of using her legs, because she's got little little pointy feet she would like basically launch herself forward using her arms you know so i like that idea but i don't know um i was taking a painting class at this time so this was a a quick thumbnail for a painting i was going to do and this painting um <laughs> I didn't realize how much fan art I did until I'm doing a sketchbook tour. This painting is a fan art of uh, the adventures of Merlin. Because <laughs> um, a few years back, I watched the whole thing with my mother and we both really enjoyed it. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times my mom screamed, just kiss already <laughs> at Arthur and Merlin. It was very funny. XD, <gasps> yeah. Y'all. <laughs> head pets, head pets. Um, let's see. This guy just had like an asymmetrical haircut. And then letter for comics and did very poorly because it's true. <laughs> my lettering is poor. I had an entire class on lettering. Two of them, because it continued into year two, and I am still bad at it. Oh, and then this was a more detailed sketch of the painting, I suppose. Do I know where that painting is offhand? No, no, I do not. Remember, I just moved, so I don't know where, like, most things are right now. Um, but that was, like, a close-up of Merlin's face. And I was thinking of putting, uh, what's his face? I forget his name, but he's like the father figure who takes care of him, right? I was thinking of putting him like asleep on his desk over there, but he ended up not in the final cut. Um, and then let's see, just some sketches, what appears to be various, various lads. Oh, yo. Yeah. I liked this sketch. So this sketch is one of the ones where like I didn't do an under sketch. Come on, focus, thank you. I didn't do an under sketch, as you can see. So it was like 
all sort of done in one go, even though it was done in pencil. And he's like, hold on, focus. There we go. He's like yoinking his own heart out. <laughs> so I actually really like how this one ended up. It's obviously not entirely anatomically correct. Um, his head is so narrow. Like there's stuff wrong with it. But I love this idea, you know? So it was fun. I think this was fan art for D20 Fantasy High. I don't remember who this gnome lad is, but this is that jock who like redeemed himself, you know? Ooh, some fighting gnomes. You can tell they're gnomes because of their freaking eyebrows, you know? So yeah, she's got a rapier and he's got some sort of staff. They've got armor on. And then this. <laughs> Sir. Zorks, please put your heart back. No, you don't understand. He, like, you know. It, 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 it's Valentine's Day. He has to give you his heart. That's how it works, right? Oh my god. So this. Um, was an idea I had for. It would essentially be a D&D &D module, but. I stopped working on it because, uh, writing D&D modules now is probably not, not the play. Um, but it was a space module that was based heavily on Arthurian legend. Um, so like this is a jouster ship, it's an atmospheric only ship. And they literally run at each other with their lances and like glance off of the shields. You know? Um, and then Camelot was like this ginormous space station um, where like the bottom of it, well the top, like there's no top in space, right? Space isn't, that's not how space works, it's omnidirectional, you know? But um, this like bottom part or top part would be like entirely made of castle-like looking spires and then there would be this big flat part on the bottom that would be like a mirror lake and then in this sort of dome would be like where round table discussions would take place and it was like a huge city with like millions of people in it you know um and then this was uh arthur um i guess i can tell you guys the idea was that um Arthur uh, is this woman who, like, ca came back and, like, liberated this planet from its dragon overlords, right? Um, and everybody's like, well, how can she be the Arthur from legend, right? Like, we understand that he's the once and future king, which means he'll come back and be king in future, but how do we know, like, this is her? But, um, you know, she liberated all of... Fate does that, yeah, sometimes. So, um, she liberated this planet, essentially, from its dragon overlords, and then established Camelot with all of the, like, surrounding planets, um, where this is, like, a diplomatic city, and, you know, they make sure, like, the dragons don't come back, and things like that. But, um, the idea with Arthur was that there are these Arcano crystals, um, that power um, these droids. Their only use is powering these droids. They're essentially like their souls. And no one knows where these crystals come from. And like, um, if you try to remove it from a droid, it'll die because it can't, it can't live without it, right? Um, and really, that's its only use. But um, it turns out the way, uh, oh, right, okay, here's what it was. So, Merlin, right, the wizard, technically he lives forever, but I thought it would be fun if the way he lives forever is that, you know, he lives a normal person's life, right, in a normal person's body, he's born, he lives, he dies, and then he comes back, right? And he's born with all of his memories. He's born with everything, right? So this woman is actually Merlin. 
Um, and she was like, you know, born on the planet and stuff. But Merlin finally was able to locate the Arcano Crystal, which contained Arthur's soul. And she was worried that if she put it in a, um, like, droid, she wouldn't be able to protect him properly. As, you know, he died last time. So she implanted the crystal within herself. And so now they share the same body. So most of the time Merlin just lets Arthur do whatever the fuck he, he wants, right? But sometimes she steps in to make sure he doesn't, you know, fucking die. <laughs> so that was sort of the idea behind like this module um is that like the lady of the lake contacts the main characters because something is going awry and somebody is trying to essentially um take over avalon and have it crash into the prime material plane because avalon would be a different plane right and it would engulf it and destroy it you know um, and then, of course, Arthur, uh, slash Merlin, uh, for some reason would hire you <laughs> to, to stop it. And there was all this stuff I had. I even have a map drawn out of the universe. But, like I said, didn't pan out. Um, this is fan art for another Dimension 20 show. Uh, this is Kugrash. Um, he was literally the best character in, um, Unsleeping City. I love this guy. So he has his everything bagel, and he has his cockroach, and he has his little rat king crown. I love him. He's a good boy. This is an idea I had for a puppet. I do make dolls. I suppose I can bring a couple of those over as well to show you, um after the break uh because i think I, I i do i think i do okay work uh this is a type of japanese doll made out of wood i forget what it's called right now but i have two of them more legs so this must have been event day so there's touch um more legs someone looking pensive and sad Yo, I really tried to make this horn work, <laughs> but it's just a stupid design for a horn. I couldn't pull it off, so she remained unfinished. This is another unicorn rabbit lady thing. Um, <laughs> with stuff bleeding through from the other side. So, oh, you guys want to see goblins? Look at this lady. Hell yeah. Now that's a gobbo if I've ever seen one. So this duo was like, he was like a unicorn and she's like a goblin and she's like his protector and he sort of like does magic, but she, you know, she has the knife, she do big cut, you know? And I really liked her, but I did not really like him. So I was like, Let's do a gender swap. Let's swap their genders to be other genders. So, <laughs> this is the same gobbo, but like a guy. Come on, focus. 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 Uh, focus. Uh, focus. 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 Yo, what's that? There we go. <laughs> so this is like the same goblin but a dude and like the same unicorn but a girl but I very quickly gave up on those ones because I did not like I like this girl she's so cute let's see um I think this was more of them but I hated it and then a bunch of bleed through from the next page and that's like I think this is when we started watching Beastar, so that must be Haru. Um. <laughs> Yo, and then these are those marker, those watercolor marker pens again. And this was, uh, 
fan art of um, Skip Beat. Because it's just such a good manga. And it's like so fun to try to do her style, you know? So there's just a bunch of this page is so wet and like warped, you know? Because this is not like multimedia paper. This paper was definitely intended only for pencil. But um Yeah, so there's that. And then this is me like basically no longer looking at the the main reference of her art, but trying to incorporate some of it into my style and see how it do. It's pretty cute. <laughs> Very watercolor. Yeah, exactly. Yo, this was a horrible redesign I did of Fran, and I hated it. And then <laughs> this was a character I was working on, and I hated it. <laughs> um. Uh, this is when I started watching Lupin the Third. I did a bad job. So, <laughs> you know, he's very cartoony and silly and just. <laughs> he's hard to <laughs> loop in for exactly. Um, and then this is just a page where everybody's eyes are closed, so I guess everybody got real sleepy. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do 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 do. <laughs> Yo, Lupin the Third is so good. Up until like a couple of days ago, my um my ringtone was superhero <laughs> from part one, which is like everyone wishes they could be like me. And yeah, <laughs> I just love it so much. I love it, honestly. Um. Let's see, this is another try to Fran redo. The the only problem with having it as a ringtone is it starts at like a real loud trumpet blast. So it always scared the bejesus out of me. And I was like, for my own nerves, I need to change this song. <laughs> Yo, this is Don. He's uh my uh Shadowrun OC. Because I played Shadowrun, um, the video game, and I really liked it. And I want to play Shadowrun the TTRPG so bad! <laughs> um, and then here he is, like, getting ready to do some violence on somebody. Get ready for violence. Love this idiot. Oh! <laughs> I just... <laughs> Go back, go back, please. I'll treat you right this time, I promise. Guy with a weird cat. I can't believe I just ripped this page out. I can't. It's a. There's a reason I have a rip, but literally. There's a. I have a box full of just like loose stuff, cause I, cause stuff like that happens to me all the time. This is like a weird creature. It's got like one sideways eyeball. Like the little hooky hands and just thick on thighs. <laughs> and like raptor toes. <laughs> I'm too powerful. Exactly. I'm too strong. This was tried in a couple of different retro styles. Um, this was more like Rumiko Takahashi, except <laughs> not. <laughs> and then this uh is it incorporates a lot from Skip Beat, but it's certainly not Skip Beat. This was me trying to draw Burke again, but I didn't like it. He felt too stiff and sad. So this was his redo, and I really fucking like him. Like, his little vest kills me. <laughs> yeah, I like Burke a lot. I might end up keeping him, but I don't know for what. He's just so... He's just very fun to draw, you know? Um, oh, these were ideas I had for Baldur into dolls. You'll find a lot of these in my sketchbooks. But these specific ones were animal themed. So this doll would be a mouse doll. Um, and I even figured out 
all of like the proportions. Um, yeah, I really love this design. I think she's so fucking cute, you know? Um, she's not the most flexible doll, uh, just because like she's got no wrist or ankle joints, but I wanted to go simple because I have a tendency to go too complicated and then stop partway through. Um, oh! So, <laughs> that was my alarm. I gotta go feed the cats. Um, then this was a, uh, this was like a bird ball jointed doll idea I had. I don't know how it would turn out, but it would certainly be interesting. <laughs> okay, but, um, it's time, it's time to take a break. Uh, we're gonna be gone anywhere from five to ten minutes. Um, depending on how long it takes me to find things I wanted to show you guys. Um, and while my break screen is up, I'll be running three minutes of ads. Please feel free to use this time that you can also, like, get up, stretch, make sure you hydrate, make sure you dehydrate, which is what I call pissing. <laughs> um... You know, feed your cats if you got them, pet your cats if you got them, smooch your cats if you got them, same with all of your dogs. <laughs> and we'll be right back, babarinos!
Okay. <laughs> so, I didn't find everything I wanted to show you, but I did find the issue <laughs> of Archie that I show up in. <laughs> um, and I also found uh, some dolls that I've made. Um, some are better than others, but, um, I think, I think it'll be interesting to take a look at them anyway, but let's, let's first show, uh, it's time for Archie, baby. Okay. So, um, I was wrong about the issue. It's issue 20 that I was in. Um, but there I am. And, uh, I still have this exact hat. See, like, the braids and the ears and, like, the face. The colorist, uh, was different from the artist, so he didn't know what color to make this. <laughs> but this is that exact hat that I was wearing in the, in the panel. Oh, <laughs> um, you know, it's just, it's just... One of the coolest things that's ever happened to me, and, you know, I'm really, I'm really pleased. This was my profile picture for a very long time. Right? So yeah, um, that's not got to do with my art personally, but it is part of my, uh, art journey. Life with Archie, <laughs> issue 20. Um, and then, hold on, let me adjust my leggies. I put on socks just in case so you guys couldn't see my feet because I know that Twitch hates that. So, um, let's show you my first completed ball jointed doll. Please be kind to her. Uh, unfortunately, my mother dropped her, so she's not looking too hot. But <laughs> here she is. Um, then my mom dropped her, so she's a little on the br broken side. <laughs> um, uh, so, you know, she was very, she was very cute when she was, uh, whole, but she is not <laughs> anymore. Um, this doll in particular, I made out of, um, Broken but still good. Aw, thank you. I made her out of um, the type of clay that gets fired in a kiln for ceramics class. So uh, all of these little bitty parts had to go in a kiln. So I literally made a bowl that we fired um, to hold all of the parts for firing. Um, and you know, I'm quite proud of how her hands had turned out. But, like, her fingers are missing, you know? Go on, focus. Like, her fingers are missing there, and her whole other hand is just gone, you know? Um, but, come on, focus. Yeah, I think she still turned out pretty cute, even if she <laughs> fell to pieces on the floor. <laughs> um, let's see. This guy is... Partially resin, partially claw. So his head, I sculpted out of Sculpty, which I hate. I hate Sculpty. I can't stand it. And then, uh, I put it in a silicone mold. It was my first mold ever, so I didn't do, like, a great job. You know, like, if you look. Come on, focus. If you look, like, there's this weird thickness here. And, like, these are flat at the top instead of pointed. Um, but, you know, I was able to pour, pour the mold and then, um, get his little resin head out and paint it. I, they're like, if it, if it focuses, come on, focus, focus. You can see like little bubbles in his, uh, sculpt. That's because it was my first resin pour. Didn't know how to do it. Still don't. But we're working on it, you know? I still have the mold, so in theory I can make more of these, like, heads. 
But then this body is literally just all cloth, right? So he's just sewn up. Um, I was gonna make clothes for him, but uh, clothes are not something I'm exactly proficient at. And like, you know, I put little darts in the side to make his chest have like more, come on, more like thickness to them. But I had to install a dart later on. Come on. Come on, focus. Um, in his back, because his back was like way too loose. You know? So he's pretty cute, but he's not he's not like perfect, you know? Um And then this lady. I like her quite a bit, but boy did she give me trouble. Um, so the way I did this one, again, it was sculpty. I hate sculpty. Um, she was a Barbie doll that had no legs, right? So I was like, I could use her body as a base, right? And then cover her in sculpty, basically bake her on low. And then she would be like a whole different doll. So that's essentially what I did, but like I cut her arms and like re-glued them differently. Um, but I glued them with hot glue, so when I put them in the oven, both of her arms fell off at the elbow joints, and I was like, ah! Plus, her, like, I had gotten it up in the plaits that I liked, but it, it's basically baked in that way, because her hair is like plastic fiber, and I forgot that like, Plastic doesn't like the oven. <laughs> um, so she was like flesh color sculpty, right? Um, and I, I painted over her. I made her some clothes, you know. Um, she's not perfect, but I'm very proud of the work I did on her. I especially like like the texture in her tail. Um, and the way I did the texture in her tail was after she was all fired and stuff. I was like, I'm unhappy with this. So I took my hot glue gun and I would put a line of glue and then I would drag the tip of the gun through the glue line that I just put. And it created these like, um, sort of veiny, finny looking marks, you know, um, even like this this sort of squiggle design through this fabric, I like put, I, I did the squiggle through the netting, like with the beads and everything. So I'm quite, I'm quite happy with how she turned out, but she was a, she was a real pain in the ass, you know? Um, and then this last one is sort of hard to pick up with one hand. She was going to be a ball jointed doll, but um, I ended up, I ended up scrapping her design because I didn't feel like, come on, bleh. I didn't feel like her design like reflected my art style well, you know? Um, she has a wire in her which is sort of holding her together. It's not doing a very good job because it's quite loose. But you know, she's got like a head and there's a joint there and she bends at, like the tummy. But she, I think she actually makes quite an interesting piece all by her lonesome, you know? I I don't think she needs the rest to be interesting. Plus, I made her out of paper clay, and she's just so nice to touch. <laughs> she just has a very, like, soft texture. Like, you know how, like, sometimes, um... Like, there's that matte silicone covering on something. That's sort of what it feels like, you know? Because paper clay, as the name suggests, it has a uh, paper fiber in it. So those fibers, like, in the end product, like, stick out just a little bit. Um, unless you burnish it really well, which means, you know, you, like, sand it, but then, like, also you, like, take a tool and just rub it <laughs> against the surface until the surface becomes smooth. Um, so I did a lot of burnishing on her, so she's very smooth and nice to touch. <laughs> um, can I show you her butt? She's got a nice butt. 
It's kind of dirty, <laughs> but she's got a butt. <laughs> um, yeah, so those are some of the, the dolls I've made as well. So you'll find uh, a lot of... I'm going to set you guys down for a second. You'll find a lot of, like, doll ideas <laughs> in my sketchbooks, because I actually tried to follow through on them. I would like to make one based on rock, you know? Um, but we'll see. <laughs> um, okay, so back to the sketchbook, which you're all here for. Here's a, here's a little mouse friend. And another little mouse friend, but they're like in different styles, you know? Let's see. Here's a weird umbrella man. He's just chilling. He's just hanging out. Um. And then more legs. So leg hurdy that day. And, you know, I sometimes try to like do things like in weird proportions just to see how they work. Because sometimes you get something really interesting. So this is another sort of like freeform sketch page. I really like how her hair came out. Very wispy. Um, and then this one has some nice thick lines with a lot of variation in it. And here's just a sketch. Apparently there she's got a goldfish next to her and she's got a wand, so I think she conjured it. If I had to guess. Oh, this was a robot design I was doing, but I hated it. I thought it was horrible. Um, this I labeled gross at the time, but I actually think it's cool now. So, past Daisy, you suck. <laughs> Another three-eyed character, and the words, this whole page is garbage. You know, <laughs> what can I say? I'm not afraid to <laughs> tell them how I feel. Um, I apparently thought this page was also yuck, so I wrote yuck. Um... This one I wrote, Ugh. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is more of the thing. So this is Arthur again, and like a tiefling guy. Um, you know, just some characters. She's, she's fun to draw with her hair. <laughs> you know, she's just got a lot of it. Um, and this was like her little squire, her little orcish squire. Um, this was another one where I didn't uh, do an under sketch, so just drawing like on the paper. Um, like I like it, but it's one of those ones where it's like, oh yeah, you can sort of tell that there was no underlayment, you know? Because she's just a little long. Uh, and her ears are tied back like a ponytail, because why not? Um, yuck and bleh. So I really didn't like this one. Um, let's see. Oh, yo, here's the Lupin gang again. But this time I finally sort of like nailed how to draw them, you know? So here is Lupin. And he's got his little tie and he's even got his hairy hands. This is very important. Lupin be very hairy. And then, wow. Jigen. He's in his suit. He's showing his ass. You know, as you do. And then... <sighs> my brain is bad. I can never remember anyone's names. What's his face? The samurai guy. Um, he's there. And then Fujiko. And she's also showing her ass. <laughs> Jigen. And Fujiko are very confident in how their booties are popping. <laughs> um, and then I tried to draw the inspector and I hated it. <laughs> Even though he's so good. Um, yo, and then this was like, I want to draw one of those hair bows, but she has a gun for some reason. <laughs> so like... Who knows? <laughs> oh, okay. So, this sketchbook, I still had Pearl. Um, so this is a little drawing of me and Pearl together. 
uh, specifically of how she often interrupted me sketching to come and sit on the sketchbook and cuddle. Boy, I miss Pearl. This was also, uh, when she still had her bad leg. So, when I got Pearl, she was elderly, and, um, her one paw didn't work correctly, it was bent in the wrong direction, so she essentially walked on her ankle joint, which was very painful for her, and, um, she didn't have a tail. She just had a little, little stub. And she was literally the sweetest cat to exist ever. Um, and she's, she's actually why we have the uh, SPCA fundraiser going because the Richmond Humane Society is where I got Pearl. And she was a very good very positive force in my life and the world's greatest kitty cat so here he was her sleeping she always stretched out as long as her little leggies would go and this is how she ate she would just like sort of <laughs> pork down like the pate as fast as she could um this was her walking uh, sometimes I called her bunny butt, because, you know, her back end looks so much like a bunny, you know, because of her little, her little tail. <sighs> and then, <laughs> here she was in, like, a cute little, a cute little dress. Um, so, yeah. Um, later on, uh... She had to have her bad leg amputated, so this was before that. Um, he, oh, this is my baby. Here she is again. This time I drew her as a wizard. In, like, cute little shorts. She had, like, a mouse friend who was, like, a barbarian. Oh, um, yeah, she was a good baby. This was actually, um... A uh, thought process for um, a commission. So I was commissioned to draw a medic droid, right? Um, and this is one of the ideas I came up with. The arms on the hips thing ended up staying in the final, and so did the face, because I really liked the sort of caduceus staff on the face, like coming off, you know? And I think it's quite obvious looking at this, if <laughs> the camera focuses, come on, focus please, thank you. Um, that I play a lot of Warframe, or at least I did at the time. I haven't for a while, and whenever I do, it's just to decorate the dojo. <laughs> um, this appears to be a, a centaur. This got like mammalian paws. But like, and mammalian ears, but like, undulate antlers and tail? So it's like... Okay. <laughs> um, a weird little, little sideways lad. Come on, focus for me, baby. Focus. Focus. Thank you. Just a weird lad. He kind of looks like an anteater. <laughs> Let's see. Yo, more Lupin! So, like, sometimes, uh, I'm sure lots of artists do this. Sometimes I, like, picture, uh, animations to songs I like in my head. So this was, like, a basically shot from the animation. It's to the song Superhero. Basically, he's up there singing it with the- like, he steals the stage from someone else and starts singing this song with these ladies as his backing chorus. And, like, throughout the song, like, their earrings start disappearing without them realizing it. And he's got them. <laughs> That's what he came for. 
So, like, that was the, that was the sort of, like, stale image I had from it, you know? Also, I love, I love how I did her hair. Yo, that looks so good. Um, and then this appears to be a donkey friend. Um, I, I often have problems with the way people draw, like, Horses with hands, because like, how do you how do you take a hoof and turn it into a hand? Because a hoof is a single finger with just a really big finger. You know that's what a hoof is. It's a really big finger now. So how do you translate one finger with a really big finger now into several fingers? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, <laughs> the guy, but he's smoking. Um, this is a plant lady I was working on, and I hated it. This is horrible. Look at her. She's just stupid. Um. Uh, yo. Sometimes, when you get, like, the pose down that you want, it feels like a shame to cover it up with clothes, you know? So, um, <laughs> I just made her, her the top dress seafood. <laughs> I made her have, like, skin-tight undergarments, and then her top dress was see-through. Um, another profile, because of course. Let's see. Come on, turn for me. There we go. Uh, just a big loose sketch of, like, some anime girls. This, I believe, is another study of, uh, the town the stars fall upon, because I just love the art in it. Um... This is like an elf lady with a cool ass haircut. And these are two characters, but I don't remember what their deal was. But they both look pretty sad about whatever the fuck their deal was. <laughs> um, oh, let's see, there's Lucy again. She, <laughs> she angie. And there's Luke. And then this, uh, so this is how the hooded Pito Hui uh, character ended up. So she's got like these big bird -um legs and instead of arms, she's got wingums, you know? And then she's got like this cute hairdo made out of feathers. I love her. I love her quite a bit. Um, and then these were more characters for that same thing. That's Vince, he ends up staying. He's like a poison dart frog. Um, he doesn't end up staying. She gets rehashed a lot. That's Charlotte, for obvious reasons. And neither of these make it. So this is like my first go at Charlotte. Um, I did not like it. And then this is a guy whose name was Sass, but he's changed. Um, this was another go at Charlotte. Didn't like it. Thought it was stupid. This is a go at Vince. Loved it. Look at his stupid face. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, and he's got his little frog -um legs like that. Like, come on. How could you not like that guy? He's just a business frog. Um, this was just a random lady. I don't remember why I drew her, but she's got nice hair. And then this was actually how Charlotte ended up. So she got, she got like her hair pulled back. She sort of punked up, you know, and more importantly, she's got spider arms as well as spider legs, you know? So now she's all spidered up. Let's see. Oh, this was a self portrait at the time. I had had a pixie cut and, you know, I kept the bangs trimmed, but it kept growing long in the back, so it, it ended up becoming, like, partially a mullet. So, for a while there, uh, during quarantine, I, I kind of had a mullet going on until I just let the bangs grow out. So, that was fun. And then this, um, is actual, like, physical screen tone. Um... And 
I was like, well, I, I like retro stuff, so let's do another retro thing. So, um, you know, this is the type of screen tone that's just like a sticker, because that's how a screen tone is. It's just printed stickers on a clear vinyl sheet. And you can actually rub away the ink to get interesting, like, visual effects, like, highlighting things. So that's what I did. And I did, like, a sort of retro... I keep saying retro, but what else can I say? Look at her. She's, like, straight from the 90s. <laughs> um, well, 80s and 90s. Seems like little pieces of the screen tone are falling off. Oh, come on. Focus. Thank you. Little pieces of the screen tone are falling off. Oh, okay. So, these characters. Wow, okay. So this is a version of Winifred. Winifred is a character I've had for a long time. What Her main attributes are she's got a prosthetic leg and she's like a mage, right? And she casts magic by weaving it right L literally weaving it so anything that's like woven or macrame or like braided or you know as long as it's a knot of some sort or like some sort of like even weaving baskets she can instill it with magic because she basically traps the magic in the weave right so that's that's like her deal this is not what she looks like anymore, though I like this design. I think this design is cool, but this is this is not what she looks like anymore because I didn't think it fit. I really like that shoe, though. It's a cute shoe. Um, and then this is Elam. Uh, he is an ambassador from, like, a different uh, place, and he's tasked to bring her to... Um, Eye teeth, which is a village in the mountains, uh, it, so she can look at some sort of magical woven artifact because they don't know what it is. Um, but Elam is blind, right? So um, he, you know, he has this whole entourage that like takes, make sure he he, you know, can do his job, but also like not die. Um. So they end up developing an interesting relationship. And then this is more of them because, uh, why not? I love them. This is more of them. She's weaving a spell into her own hair and he is just like feeling the strands of her hair. And here she is like, Unweaving a magic to release it. I like the shininess of her leg. I keep going back and forth out of what her leg is like made out of, you know? Um. Oh, this is. Yo, this has such good shapes. Look at how shapey this is. It's so like. shiny. I just wanna. I just want to yoink it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this appears to be an anime girl uh, with a <laughs> with a tattoo. Yo, I I can't get over this face. I'm very proud of it. Um, and then this was Winifred, but I was like, I wonder what she would look like in like retro anime style. So I did, and I was like, uh. Um, and then that was the same for Elam, but I hated it. Um, and then some more, like, experiments with some older styles. I, I really like how, like, shapey it is. And also, you know, I got a lot of line variants in it. Because that's... A lot of the time when you look at this stuff, you're not looking at the artist's sketches. You're looking at their finished work, right? Um, so... This isn't necessarily how their sketches would look, but um, it's, it's more reminiscent to how the finished work looks because most of the finished work is done with pens and brushes, you know? Um, here's some more Winifred. She's weaving some magic. She's doing it like a badass because she is. Um, 
This is a character I do not know the name or story of, but she looks cool. Um, <laughs> I must have been reading a lot of Ranma in this- No, you know what? It wasn't Ranma. My favorite Rumiko Takahashi stories are Maze and Ikoku and Mermaid Saga, so I was probably reading those again. <laughs> oh my gosh, and then of course her shirt says yikes. Um, and then this is more my friend and Elan, but I hated how this one was turning out. More Lucy? Who's my good Lucy? It's you. Did I just talk to her like she's my pet? Yes, I did. Maybe she is. Um, I apparently hated this one too. And honestly, I understand. Okay, I don't like it that much. Um, this next one, yeah. This one uh, was definitely another brush pen experiment where I was just like, I had a sketch and I was like, okay, just fill it with brush pen, you know? So it's got a lot of like texture in it and it's using a very limited like palette of pens to sort of get a, a um, like consistent look, you know? But... I don't know how, like, successful I would consider it. I think her tummy's okay. Um... Man, I draw a lot of people with, like, weird legs. Let's face it. I sort of am a little low-key obsessed with legs because of my situation. <laughs> oh yeah, this is sort of like... A, a take on a Regency-era dress. It wasn't like meant to be perfectly Regency era, but it does have like the Empire waist, you know, and it's very frilly and soft until it gets down to here. And obviously it's like a, a tunic instead of a, a full dress, right? And she's got trousers on. And then like this sort of overcoat was, it's certainly not period, but I think it's, it's like interesting and it's got like the vents that a lot of like, over, over shirts did. Um, I must have been watching a lot of Bernadette Banner again. Uh, this is, this would be, like, he's just a, he's just a cowboy lad sitting waiting for his hoss to come back. <laughs> um, this is a kung fu-ish pose that I ended up not liking. This guy. I was experimenting with um, like, taking, like, fantasizing Japanese clothing, you know? So, like, this is sort of like Hakama pants, except, uh, <laughs> they're Hakama chaps. <laughs> but, <laughs> with a crotch, they've just got the pants, you know? Um, so, like... <laughs> I don't know, they're, they're Hakama chaps, what could I say? Um, oh, cute witch. I love, like, drawing cute witches. Yo, she's got so much poof. Um, cause witches are cute. Um, started drawing this, said yuck. It reminds me of my middle school art, honestly. Um... This is supposed to be the same character. <laughs> it's not. Let's see. Oh, um, this is another profile, but lots of hair. Lots and lots of hair. And then this is like a um, gargoyle guy. So he's got, you know, the feet and the pointy hands. There's some sort of top. And he's got very low-rise jeans, oh my gosh. You're not leaving anything to the imagination, guy. You know, and then he's got his wings, and of course, like, bat wings are basically the bat's hands, and each between, and in between each of its fingers is, like, that long, like, web of skin, you know? So I made the, the wings look a little more hand-like, because I think that's, that looks interesting, you know? Um, some sort of cat, lad, or lady. Um, a, uh, gel pen. 
It seems, yeah, this is shiny. Whee! Like a gel pen. Um, 90s girl. Yo, more Tara! And a Dragon Age slime! What? Not Dragon Age, Dragon Quest! Dragon Age slime would be made of blood, probably. <laughs> Let's face it. Um, but no, there he is! Slime! Hey! <laughs> Hi, mate. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then, uh, some sort of sportsman? Like a, like a, like a cartoon sportsman. And then another sportsman. Dragon Quest slimes are top tier slimes? Absolutely. Especially the fatter they get, like the king slimes. 1,000%. So, yeah, he, he appears to be... Yo, look at them kicks! Whoa, I'm really proud of them shoes. Look at those. Um. Yeah, this appears to be a soccer lad doing whatever it is they call bopping it with your knee. Doing a knee up. Doing a knee bop. Yo, take two Archie, let's go. <laughs> this time I've got Reggie in there. <laughs> Doghead, but now he's got a burger backpack like Steven. <laughs> And then Archie, he's dressed down a little bit, but, you know, he's the type of guy who would work out his arms and then wear really tight shirts, you know? So, he's got that. And then Betty, she's a little less sporty and a little more like, I don't think I'd want a backpack. I'd absolutely try to eat it. I mean, how could you not? How could you not? Look at it. Um... Uh, Yo, and then Veronica's neck is so long. What the fuck? She's got like a, a top and a skirt on and you can see like one of those crisscross bras, you know? <laughs> Maybe it looks like a pentagram, who knows? And then Reggie's doing an ass shot cause he's, he's proud of the cake he's got. Um, but he's all sported up and he's got sparkles cause he thinks he's hot shit. But then again, but then again, but then again, <laughs> as he sh Yo, okay. These are the first tries at rock, okay? So here is the very first try. She was, <laughs> I mean, is way different, right? She had, like, the bandages on her arms. Like, her proportions remained relatively the same. Yeah, the eyes, I think, are interesting. And obviously, I kept the brows. But it just wasn't hitting me right. And I'm not sure I liked, like, the fur sort of collar I had going on, you know? So then, take two. She looks like, uh, if Belle and Beast had a very rowdy, a very rowdy rough and tumble daughter. Her hair used to be like in big braids down her back and she had way more bandages on, you know? But actually a lot of this design sort of survived, like the X on her shoulder and like the rake across her chest. Her scar is too. What I think what mostly changed is like her patterning and making her look bulkier, you know? Cause she seems like slicker in this. She seems thinner. She's got more of a swimmer's build, <laughs> you know? Yeah, so those are the first. Oh, and she had a, she had a flail. <laughs> As if a bugbear needs more reach. Um, and then this was another attempt. Um, you know, she was getting there. She was getting there for sure. Um, and then these are some of the characters in her backstory, which, um, I would like to do some kind of lore video, but I have no idea how to do that. Like, I have the lore, but a video? Oh, no. <laughs> Um, so that's Prestige. She's like a teeth fling woman. 
and Uruth is an orcish man. Uh, Fernford has been removed from her backstory, and this guy is the unnamed antagonist. <laughs> um, but I really like how their designs came out. Like, both smoochable. Yo, okay. Look at that. I love poofy hair, you know? Like, poofy hair is just so fun to draw. So, oh, and I really like how that hand came out. And then there's like this rough and tumble lad in the corner with snake bite. And like this another somber sort of looking profile, of course. And a weird little cat. And then this. This. <laughs> so this guy's like, holy shit. She's like, yeah, so like the pub's this way. Oh, you know. Um, yo! First instance of bat. Oh. I love bat flows. They're just <laughs> buffaloes <laughs> with bat wings and stuff. Uh, I think the other bat flow. <laughs> I think the other bat fellow has, like, front hooves and the wings come out of his back, whereas this one has the wings as his front feet. Bat fellow. Come on, bat fellow. <laughs> um, and this is another donkey lass. Because I just think donkeys are cute. Uh, I think you gotta do big chunky fingernails when you got... <laughs> Yo, the little blithe emotes is so cute. Um, I think you gotta do chunky nails when you do, like, an equine, like, thing, you know? And of course, he. He. Or donkey. <laughs> um. Some more, like, gargoyle-looking people. Another... Go at rock. She started out with a much longer torse. She's got quite a short torse now. Um, this was some more retro bullshit. Come on. There we go. I hated it. This one I quite liked. This one looks cute. <laughs> like, the for some reason, the stripes on the face are so... Like... 90s, 2000s, you know? Like, just on the edge of the face. What? I almost dropped you guys. <laughs> I apologize, I apologize. Uh, here appears to be some sort of Japanese schoolgirl I never finished. Um... <laughs> some lady, like... <laughs> buff posing in an evening gown because well, you gotta show your power anytime is a good time <laughs> uh and then another what appears to be rough and tumble lab and yuck 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 <laughs> um yo uh, this was a, like, I did a retro-inspired character, and then I did her in my style, and that's what this is. And then this was drawing, uh, Rox Flail, which she no longer has. Um, but I think it came out looking pretty nice. Chains are pretty easy to do. They're just tedious, you know? It's, it's just like, oh, do I have to? <laughs> Um, yo, this is Tack Yak Scrub Gubber. He's, uh, a sorcerer character, um, from Pathfinder 2. And, um, he's, like, really arrogant and, uh, just loves, loves, uh, opulence. And so, um, like, his outfit, he's got on, like, fine silk pants and like literally a see-through kimono um he's a he's a monkey goblin which is a, an ancestor a unique ancestry to pathfinder 
Yeah, it's got, it's so good. It's so fun. Also, I'm really proud of how the foreshortening on that hand turned out. Like, look at this idiot. I, his, his name is Tackack, but everybody just calls him Tack. Um, this appears to be swooshy hair. <laughs> Another go at rock. Um... She's getting much closer to how she looks now, you know? Um, this is just like a rough sketch of a guy with a scar on his nose. This is like an elf, but like an android elf snake guy. Like, <laughs> like what? So he's got like a segmented lower body that's robotic. I was like, okay. Yo, this was me drawing like a hobbit. Cause I love hobbits. Like, which I feel are different from halflings. I know they're technically the same, but a hobbit is like cozy. You know, it's just the name. It's literally just the name. Anyway, this was me drawing a hobbit. Um. This appears to be a dragon person with a poppin' ass. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, and this is like a mermaid sort of design where the tail is coming all the way around from the other page, you know? So. I think it looks pretty cool um this i didn't like <laughs> uh he kind of looks like a shithead so i don't how blame past me um this uh appears to be something i just didn't feel like finishing <laughs> um yo and there are blank pages in this one <laughs> For our for our purposes though. That one was certainly one of my messier sketchbooks. Yo, and we're five minutes until until two. I don't know if I have maybe maybe I can try to blast through a short one. <laughs> oh look, it's Archie again. Um what do you guys think? Should I try to should I try to blast through through this one, or should we just stop for the day and pick this up some other time? Bonk. Oh, mysterious man. Uh, I guess I guess we'll go through it. Yo, fluffy hair. I remember. This used to be how I drew, like, big fluffy hair for a long time. Where it's just, it's essentially a cloud, you know? <laughs> There's a robot, and Frankie, who's a character of mine, and Hello Kitty, and some kind of somebody. Like... This one is... It's... Huh. I'm trying to place it. This has to be while I was going to college, I think. I think this one is college era, so like, yeah, okay. Because this was a study I did of a guy sitting in the library uh, who didn't know I was sketching him. <laughs> so it had, it had to be when I was in college, this one. Yeah. And like you can you can tell again that it's older because the eyes are so close to the forehead and the head is so like elongated backwards, you know? Wow. And then of course she's like sweaty and doing stuff. Or probably. Yes. Poob and blorp. <laughs> Oh, poop. Sometimes when I don't know what to do with this guy, 
I just make him say stupid words. Because, why not? Oh yeah, this is like some kind of fish lady I drew with like a scribble. I think this was, yeah, this is ballpoint pen. Um, oh yeah, this one. So my hair was long and I had it like permed at the time. So like this is how I would draw myself. And in this sketch, uh, I get real sassy. <laughs> so like, I drew this, right? And it, I mean, obviously there's shit wrong with it. Look at that tummy. So it says, this is bad and you should feel bad. And I'm saying, shut up, I know. Right? And then, this is bad and you should feel bad. OMG, I get it, stop. And then, can't draw guys unless they're complete teddy bears, huh? Can't the girl have an artistic crisis in peace? Please and thank you. So, I discovered at this point in time, I could not draw dudes unless they were big. <laughs> unless they were large. <laughs> I was having trouble. And here, uh, I'm blaming Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> for the fact that I don't know anyone but big buff dudes. Goliath, this is all your fart. I... F this is all your fart. Fault. Pardon? Quit being awesome and influencing my art. I fail how to see this is my fault. Besides, it never worked. I'm a human and you're a gargoyle. I'm getting a restraining order the moment I'm a person in the eyes of the law. So, as you can see, um... I got real sassy in this one. Also Kermit. Uh. Oh yeah, then this was like a dwarf character that I had. Um, I took a lot of inspiration from Varric from Inquisition, as can probably, well, not just Inquisition, he was also in, uh, no, he wasn't in Inquisition. Yeah, he was. He was in two. He was in the number two. There's no subtitle for Dragon Age 2. Um, so yeah, he's got some kind of weapon there. Um, these two appear to be like breathing into each other's mouths, I guess. Look, figuring out romance is hard when you don't understand it. Um, and this was an early Winifred. This is how Winifred looked. Um, so, here I'm saying bleh, bluey, bleh. Um, here again, bleh. <laughs> oh, right, here we go. This was, uh, um, the dwarf character trying to figure out how to get Winifred to move quickly through their adventure. That soapbox is there because I accidentally drew him floating off the ground. Um, so he's like, hey, I have an idea. And so he like creates a, a chair that he like wears, but it's like rattling her around because that's exactly what would happen. And then of course the old Archie fallback screwball and then she burned it. Come on. She burned it and he's upset. And she's walking away. Oh, you can really tell that I went to comic book school. Yo, and there, here she is braiding her hair because of course, um, her power comes from weaving like we discussed earlier. Um, and then here she is. <laughs> Polishing her, her leg, her prosthetic. Um, meanwhile, uh, the dwarf guy is putting a spell on her hair, helping her out. Um, then she angry for no reason whatsoever. And then I try to draw draw her in like a cute dress, but I hated the dress. So <laughs> this dress is stupid. Shut up, you're stupid. I told you, I'm a real sass back in this one um 
It's not that stupid. <laughs> but it is pretty dumb. Um, and then here she is, uh, in a wheelchair, because sometimes you just don't have your prosthetic available. And she's like, well, this, uh, fucking sucks. Um, and then this is, like, a third character I added into, like, the dynamic. Um, and another attempt at a dress was made. Um, let's see. Yo. <laughs> this is her again, but in a frame of her own hair. And this is him, but in a frame of his own magic. And then this is another Dragon Quest slime, because I can't get enough of these motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> there's that. Um, there's that third character again. Also, uh... Yeah, exactly! If you don't know what to draw, just draw a Dragon Quest slime. It's like a palette cleanser, you know? This appears to be a finger, uh, attached to a hand, and a thumb, and that's a how owl. Instead of an owl that says who, it says how. This is a guy screaming pompadour, and he's got one. Uh, let's see, this is Winifred being, uh, angsty. Oh, this is just a cute, like, schoolgirl sort of thing. Eh. My fingers are so dry now. I'm turning all these pages. This is... Man. It's interesting to see how, like, so many of, like, the elements of what I still do are here, but they're all in, like, the wrong places. You know? It's like somebody took my work and, like, stretched it out. You know? So it's interesting to see how, like, that was... That was how it looked when I was younger, you know? Um, more legs, so probably a vent. Um, and she's looking very unimpressed. Yo, look at that nose. I love drawing, like, weird, big, bold noses, you know? Because people... <gasps> Horrible accent. Oh, what is my arrow? Or am I to show you for Daisy sketchbooks? Oh, you were saving for it, oh, I see. <laughs> so over here, we've got some more poses that she did. This one seems energetic enough. And this one has little nipples for arms, doesn't it? <laughs> I believe it is also the best redeem. Oh, I love this redeem. <laughs> You'll have to wait your turn, not. This horrible accent only goes on for so long, you know? <laughs> so, here's a bunch of weird little gremlin dudes. He's got feet, doesn't he? Except his feet are all wrong. That's not how human feet look. And all I should know, I look at my feet all day. I, I don't wear shoes, I don't. It, uh, shoes could disconnect you from the earth, it does. These are poop, this says, but I don't think they're poop. Can't believe I showed up just to get owned by two goblins. Well, you better be quicker, little slime bud, because these goblins, they're not a, and they, they love to cause mischief, don't they? So, here appears to be a woman with horrible proportions. She's got such a tiny waist, and her head's bigger than her body, isn't it? <laughs> but such is life. She's got a big head and a tiny waist and thighs that could kill a man. And then she's got a little friend down here, hasn't she? Oh, and this is the end of the sketchbook. So. Oh, I don't think the end of a sketchbook ends at the end. So, I, I, I see that Daisy's got a weird sketch of a very lumpy man. And he's very lumpy. And he says Busham, isn't it? I don't know why he's saying Busham. But he is. His eye is so close to the top of his head. 
He must not got a brain in there, doesn't he? I mean, he's got all that room in the back, but he's got so much room down in the chin, doesn't he? He should have somewhere for a brain, maybe. In his neck, perhaps. Oh, this is just a bunch of scribbly words, isn't it? Oh, I don't think this sketchbook was a very good one. And it's got food stains all over it. That's disgusting. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't get disgusting sketch bits all over my sketchbook. I'm a Merrill. I do things nice and neat. I do things so nice and neat. You'd never know I was there, mate. You never know. <laughs> well, I guess I'll show you what she did on the front of this year one. It's got a bunch of idiots on it. It's a bra covering the bar down there. <laughs> and she's got a dude with a large nose. This nose is so big, it could smell a... Yorkshire pudding all the way from Brightshire and then there's a grumpy bomb on the front. Oh, I don't know who this is but oh, I don't want to meet her. She seems stupid. Well I think that's it for today though. <laughs> on account Oh, it's two o'clock, isn't it? It's two o'clock. You always have seen all the art you're gonna get for today. So, what did you guys think? Don't even worry about it. I love that you turned up at all. So thank you for showing up, isn't it? Oh, thank you, Queen. I really appreciate that. I spent a lot of time working to get me craft. <laughs> thank, thank you, Scracklebird. Oh, I, tr I try to have a, an accent that works, but let's face it, it's all very horrible. I can't get a single accent to sound natural, but that's okay. This is Errol. He's a drywaller, and he's from, I forget where Harold's from, but he's from somewhere in England, isn't he? Maybe Yorkshireton, or, or Brightford on Streppingshire, you know? It's lots of, lots of places in England, isn't it? <laughs> I, I really enjoyed sharing my sketchbooks with you. I thought we were going to get through way more. Oh, there's so many sketchbooks prepared. I had a whole mountain of sketchbooks that I was going to show you. And I went through all the sketchbooks and made sure there were no breasts in them. And oh, I feel like I could have gotten through all of them and you wouldn't have seen a single tip. Even if I hadn't searched for them. So, you know, it's, uh, I feel like we got a what done, but we could have gotten a what more done. Uh, but we'll just have to do another one, isn't it? <laughs> and I like showing you me dolls I've made, even though me dolls ain't very good no more on account of I dropped one. <laughs> but, you know. Okay, so. <laughs> we've got to figure out who to ride. <laughs> who are we gonna ride today? Oh, well. Brax is playing Minecraft, isn't he? <laughs> oh, I guess we could read Brax playing Minecraft unless anyone else had any other ideas. <laughs> uh, well, I think it's been five minutes, but it seems a shame not to finish this accent out. <laughs> Um, so I guess we'll be writing Braxton. Thank you so much for coming. I don't know what I'm going to be doing on Tuesday, but I can tell you 
that Tuesday will be the next stream. Or I should have a schedule out by later this evening and it will be posted on my Twitter, wouldn't it? And if you don't have a Twitter, it'll be down in my panels on account of I got me Twitter in my panels. Down in the description. <laughs> so go check it out there. Now I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Thank you so much. And to anyone who walked in while I was doing this silly exit, I apologize profusely. Bye bye.